So, we're going to be spending today talking about Evertail, which is not a game you should really care all that much about. Evertail is a mobile game which uses phishing ads or fake ads to try and learn an audience that's not actually trying to sell to. I want to be upfront. You should not look up the game Evertail. At least, I, I guess if you want some scammy, sort of scummy mobile gotcha game that tries to use waifu type characters in a Pokemon type setting, then maybe. Maybe that's fine. That's not what we're going to be talking about here today, though. I could not sleep. I planned to start this a bit earlier, but some things came up, and that's fine. Uh, we are going to be talking about Evertail, and particularly its creepy pasta ads. We're going to be going over all of them. Every single ad that exists currently. Now let me also say this, this video will quickly, quickly become outdated. Um, it turns out these ads, they run very regularly. These ads, they come up with new ones literally almost weekly. Like, typically, somewhere between four to six new ads for this fucking mobile game. Specifically in a creepypasta fashion come to exist per month, so regardless of what I'm going to be tackling here in like a month's time, there's already going to be new ones that we're not going to be talking here today. Um, so anyways, uh, just to lay out the groundwork before we get to everything else, because there is a lot to go over, we are going to be looking over every single creepy pasta ad for a scummy fishing fake game, which these ads do not reflect the game at all. It does not have the same aesthetic. These ads use stolen assets and modified assets from artists that definitely didn't give them permission to do this. So what I'm saying up front is probably don't support what it is we're looking at. I mean, you do what you want. I can't tell you what to do. I just personally am not, and I wouldn't personally suggest you do either. However, in a vacuum, these ads are a bit interesting, a bit cheesy, but a bit fun. And so, hey, I haven't sat down and watched all 265 of these yet. That's probably what we're doing here today. I have seen them occasionally. I somewhat organically discovered them, like many did, because these ads usually run through YouTube and other such systems, I assume. Um, there's a lot more of these than I think anyone would really expect if they didn't start researching it. I just thought we'd sit here and watch all of them that exist as of January 12th, 2022. And again, this video will very quickly become outdated because there's like four to six of these that come out. I, I don't know who's churning out these advertisements. I don't even know if there's going to be like a lot of overlap, as in we might see segments of the same advertisements pop up over and over again, or if these are like legitimately 260 plus ads with unique content each? I don't know. We're going to sit down. We're going to talk about them. Uh, we are going to start off with the one that I think most people have seen. It was actually the first one I saw when YouTube sort of organically gave me the ad. And at the time, I was like, oh, you know, I like my horror -y stuff. Let's take a good gander at this. Ultimately, though, um, I did quickly discover it's just for some mobile gacha game that did not reflect what was shown in the advertisement at all. Without further ado on any of that, though, let's get straight into this. Nah, you don't need to wait. Yeah, I'm just sort of watching all of these. I'm not really expecting any people to turn up. Even on this first ad, I have a few things to say. So this was the first one. This was also the first one I ended up seeing because it played along with the YouTube systems. Um, this is, I, I'm gonna number all these. This would be the first ad that was made and the first ad that many saw. There is currently at the time of recording 265 of these ads. Uh, we're gonna be going over all 265 of them. Again, one more time for anybody coming in. I do not personally recommend Evertail. We're just gonna be going over the entire ad library. Um, so anyways. A few things that we notice about this. Most likely, um, 
these are redraws. These are obviously sort of sketchovers. Um, it's not, like, there, there's something integrally interesting. So it's not actually that many creepypasta games out there. I kind of wish there was, even if it was like a cheesy, because this is kind of cheesy. You know, you're not going to lie, but cheesy isn't bad. I like cheesy. Um, but the game doesn't reflect what we're looking at at all. We have the phrase, monsters don't exist, which of course I guess is supposed to be in reference because this is like a gotcha collecting game full of monster and waifu type characters. I guess that's what they're trying to reference. I'm assuming this is a sprite edit over a, one of the Pokemon sprites, um, just to make to look like one of the characters from probably Evertale. We have a little flash after monsters don't exist. We see a very GBA style, I guess, Pokemon sprite talking to sort of like a RPG skeleton type thing. Vaguely, the, it looks like the dungeon of one of the Human Nikki games. Well, one of the Human Nikki games, like there's more than one. I guess there is more than one in this day and age. But the original Human Nikki, like the ruins, it's probably just a weird association my brain has. Time to move on. Uh, this looks like the fucking chamber from Amori, which is a little bit amusing. Um, I'm not sure if that was the inspiration point, but definitely looks like it. We also have sort of like the characters friend, obviously. We got cheesy blood laying around. You know what? Maybe it is actually a fucking Amori reference, because like where the cat would be out of frame is like th there's there's something there. I can't actually tell what that at the bottom right is. Are those supposed to be like flowers? Like you put down flowers to respect the dead? I, I don't know. We got bloody door. There's also a door where there's a door in Amori, so maybe. Though, of course, in this case, it's bloody, and we've got the other stuff going on. So, yeah, he walks out of frame, which I guess that's also kind of like a movie. He walks into the white space and then transports to a very different aesthetic style, Face It. He says Face It when looking into a reflection. Of course, we don't see the reflection there. There's, like, a thing there for a second. I think it's just, like, a glitch if I guess. Just a glitch if I guess. Wait, 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 no, what, though? Is that, like, a face? Nah, it's just static, so it's like in a strange position. We rely on me. We didn't get a lot of different aesthetics very, very rapidly. They don't really fit together. There's a woman there that looks a little bit beheaded. Yeah, she's just kind of sitting there laying. Lazing. We got a light on, enters. We got... <laughs> I'm assuming these are two monsters from the game since sort of the Pokemon aesthetic. Uh, yeah. We got the person. The frame rate in this particular frame is like so choppy. I'm not sure what. Are, are they supposed to be like. I know they're supposed to be like a SNES style sprite, but it's like. Oh, triggers the source of inspiration. Uh, walking through more of these flower fields. We got a bear attacking the Pokemon trainer, then turns them to the dismembered mess we saw at the beginning. There will be, of course, gore and some other stuff. Uh, <laughs> goes on camera. We got red eyes turn on. We got our. Good old blood everywhere. This is really cheesy. I'm trying to sort of tell. Uh, looking over here, it looks like heads hanging from a tree like fruit with just a few fruits. And then we got the interesting little sound. Yeah. Let me turn it down a little bit. I can turn that these down. Let me turn it down a little bit for you guys. I do want you guys to hear the audio design of these things. So hear the scream. And then they talk about they fucking have 9 million downloads. So, most likely this advertising campaign was made as a result that probably their downloads slowed down. They already sort of milked the waifu audience. They tried to tap into another audience. Uh, we're not going to talk about that through this entire video. We're just going to talk about these. Uh, this first one, I wouldn't say, is really the most appealing of these to me. Um, like, there's a few kind of interesting things. I guess the Game Boy bloody aesthetic is just kind of interesting on the fact that it's mostly sort of retained to fake creepypasta. It doesn't exist in a huge way in the space. I'm not going to say it does not exist at all. I guess I even have a little bit of, like, the game that comes to mind is fucking Andine, the first one. I'm probably mispronouncing that and forgetting the exact lettering of the name, but that's what it makes me vaguely think of. Anyways, the first advertisement uh, chimes in on their 9 million downloads, and then I guess we can go straight to the second one. Yeah, the second one's pretty close to the first one. I'm going to see if there's, like, any differences. I guess there's a hand. Was there a hand in the first one? Maybe I just missed the hand. In the first one. So a few of these seem like they're probably going to be repeats of each other. At least this first one is kind of very close to this first one. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, I guess there's also... So unless I missed something... Was, was the hand in the first one? I want to check just to make 100% sure. Was the hand in the first one? Probably just was. It'd be in the skeleton, which is really early. 
<laughs> yeah, the hand was there. Okay. So I think the only real difference, this one talks about the 9 million download celebration live. And then this one just has like the typical Evertail um, end tail on it. So it's basically the same advertisement. That makes sense. Yeah. And yep, all these ads are more interesting than the game. They're actually advertising. Not going to ever tell here. Again, I do. I am not fucking condoning this game. This game, these advertisements, a don't reflect the game you're playing at all. They don't have the same aesthetic. They don't have the core aspect at all. Um, and again, they're using ripped off and edited materials. They're definitely not allowed to use because mobile game market is very trash. But hey, it is what it is. Let's go over the next thing. This is a different advertisement. We got a hole in the water using the Pokemon Surf type technique into a sort of a chrono trigger us of the cave. A gigantic monster rests in front of the water. There is no record of being your monster catalog. And ooh, foreboding skeletons. And hey, hey. What do you want to do? Capture? Oh, little breeder. How many do you think came before you? There are some things you're not ready to understand. Now move on. All right, that's that, that, you no. Know, I kind of appreciate the subtlety of that one. By subtlety, it's not like the most subtle thing. It's fucking skeletons and ooh, scary skull bone monsters got two skulls. That's how you know it's very serious and for like skeletons. So, yeah, the breeder thing wants to stick into a little bit. Yeah. Then just kind of sends you back. The one thing that these advertisements have a bit of an issue with is that there's no consistent aesthetic in at least the first few here. Uh, this is the second like advertisement we've really seen. Technically the third, but two of them are like identical. Uh, but like the aesthetic of this area, in fact, just to go over this, the aesthetic here and the aesthetic here and the aesthetic here, they don't match at all. Like, do these first one and the last one do? No, even those don't match. There's like no aesthetic consistency. Definitely the reason that there's no aesthetic consistency is that they're 100% just like ripping and modifying sprites from some other source. So yeah, good morning. So 100%, uh, if I had to say anything about these earlier advertisements, um, I guess my biggest critique, just on that standalone, like ignoring the fact that they're stealing assets and ignoring the fact that this doesn't resemble the game at all, is that there's like no aesthetic consistency between any of the elements. They don't really look like they fit together. They look like they're completely different locations. That looks completely different than this. That looks completely different than that. I would even argue that like the character doesn't look like he fits here. But it's definitely just a... You know, because they're not fucking... They're fucking using sprites probably from people that didn't give them permission. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways. But the concept of being sent back home is kind of interesting. Why are you sacrificing monsters, Professor? The breeder who lives in the cabin became so obsessed with breeding monsters that she became a real monster. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait, did it, like, the common... I was just... Yeah, okay. Now we feed her with monsters to try to calm her fury, but it's in vain. Alright, I got a little bit of story. I got hands reaching out, decides to eat them, a little bit of blood. And then we got a little glitch effect all blazing loud. Alright, so we got a rip off the. He literally has like the fucking male Pokemon trainer hat on her, just uh, I guess like mix assets. We got a gated monster inside the place being used to feed quote unquote her. I guess we got a little narrative being spun now. Um, yeah, this one's pretty self-explanatory. I feel in fact he literally explains it to us, our professor again. The, wait, do these, like, two... I guess they kind of vaguely look like they might match. This also vaguely looks like Stardew Valley to me, but I'm not sure if that's just because I'm not I don't have enough exposure to Stardew Valley. I definitely sort of mixed assets, and the characters don't look like they fit at all with the rest of the aesthetic as well. Alright, so we got a little story... Real monsters, some woman who eats other of the monsters from the gacha game and just consumes them. Nom 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 nom. She goes with their long, tingly fingers. They also kind of like do this weird effect. But hey. No, yeah, many would, but the games, the game that they're advertising doesn't actually exist in real life. Um, I wanted to go over all these. We got somebody jogging. Go back into the ball while I take a look inside. Why were they hit with lightning? He's. Dead? The TV is making a strange noise as we turn it on. It looks like it's not working when you turn it off. <laughs> and then I guess he just entered straight into <laughs> fucking Jacob's ladder, I guess. 
What? Hey, we got somebody. We got this little stack. They're just like literally, they take their Pikachu looking ripoff thing. Looks like another Pokemon actually, but I can't. I'm not good enough with Pokemon to know the name, but it vaguely reminds me of another Pokemon that vaguely looks like Pikachu within Pokemon itself. Gets hit by lightning for no reason, enters inside a little creepy house. Uh, of course, it's just a dead person sitting there, turns on the TV, stack, 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 Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> Wait, is their head, like, not even this twitching? They couldn't animate the twitching head, so they're just making the head literally, like, spin. Uh, <laughs> that's so cheap. Like, just kind of look at it for a second. Look at the head. It's not like doing the little Jacob's Ladder twitching back and forth thing. It's not different animation frames. They're just literally making the head fucking spin. Spin! <laughs> You see the light? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some people think this is an ARG, by the way. I don't think it's an ARG. I think it's just them trying to tap into a market. Uh, they definitely give it an ARGish feeling because they're trying to insert some numbers right there. I don't really believe the numbers mean anything, though. I think it's just like a thing that they had to try to get some attention. <laughs> is that an alien? Like, you see, like, the gray alien little circle there? Still, though. All right, this is actually taken from the first advertisement. I, it's the beheaded person we saw in the sort of aesthetic before. So they're just reusing a few assets. Don't mind them. Haven't you realized yet? Was that like a frame of the actual game? I don't know if that's what the actual game looks like, but it looks closer to what I've seen of it than not. Jeez, you're starting this That as you hunt monsters, you become a monster yourself. Is that what you're going to say? You two have become a monster? Yeah. Alright, now you must face the consequences of your actions. <laughs> Doing their little ghost things. Ooga ooga ooga. Alright, there's a few things to go over in this advertisement. There's a few interesting frames in this one. <laughs> You're just scarecrow. Woo! Alright. So, let's talk about this one. Uh, this starts off with obviously the sort of copy pasta from the first one. They have the same beheaded sprite used in multiple places. Uh, talk about how you become a monster when you catch monsters yourself. Try to tap more into the creepy audience. We got a little blood splatter. I think this is actually a picture of what the game itself looks like, but don't quote me. I've never played it. I've only seen it in passing. Yeah, it's time for me to make a game like this. That's the spirit. Ooh, blood splatter. That is, you hunt monsters. Then, yeah, this looks more like what the actual game looks like for a record. But I guess they chose a very monstrous looking monster to try and make it seem like it's part of it. Takes like close in, you two have become a monster. Now this is where the interesting stuff for this one pops in. Uh, we got this little dungeon. Again, there's no cohesion between the aesthetics. Um, literally, just in this trailer alone, we have this aesthetic, which then gets mixed with the actual game's aesthetic, which um, is around this part. Then we get to this aesthetic, which doesn't match the other aesthetics at all. And if we go a little bit further, there is this aesthetic, which again doesn't match the other aesthetics. Then we have this aesthetic, which doesn't match the other aesthetics. There's definitely... I, I don't exactly know where they're pulling all their assets and their modifications from, but most definitely they're not all from the same source. Excuse me, I'm reading this right. 250 fake creepypasta Evertail ads? Yes, there is literally... So let me clarify... Currently, as of the time of this recording, there is 265 of these ads. And there's more. This video is going to get outdated very quickly. They literally make like four to six of these every fucking month. And they still have. Uh, there's even just a couple that have already released this January. Um, I don't know when they're going to stop. But I decided, hey, you know what I feel like? Let's fucking go over all 265 of these advertisements. Let's do it. Now, let me clarify this other Evertail ads. They're not all trying to do this fake creepypasta thing, which, for the record, this is a fake creepypasta thing. These advertisements do not reflect the game at all. Like, at all. The game does not have any horror elements at all. There is nothing that is remotely like what we're seeing within the game itself. These are phishing advertisements to try and get people to play their game from a different audience than they've already tried to appeal to. The game itself is a mobile gacha waifu monster pokemon ripoff game it's not very good um but i wanted to go over these the advertisements in a vacuum are interesting even though i do not fucking endorse the game that they're trying to fucking advertise in the slightest i think this is very sleazy of them in a number of ways but yeah yeah there is something a little bit surreal about all the aesthetic changes and it's definitely a result of the fact that these are definitely modifications of sprites and not a cohesive artistic vision 
Uh, they probably took some sprites that either they're allowed to use or not allowed to use. I don't fully know, though some of these are definitely Pokemon ripoffs, so I'm going to side towards not allowed to use. Not even that they're copying the Pokemon aesthetic, like, it, even, the first frame of the first advertisement, that's 100% a sprite edit of one of the Pokemon trainers in the aesthetic style of Pokemon. And it's probably just like a recolored, drawn over version of it, which is. Eh. But, anyways. Anyways, the interesting stuff in this one. The first interesting shot in this advertisement, I think, is the little dungeon shot. That's a nice little shot there. We got a little shadow man who comes closer to the camera saying, Yo, dude, sup? They're very try hard. And let me say this they're very cheesy. Wait, was there like a blood thing that came out of? Yeah, there's nothing there, and it was like red. Got it. Then we got the part where they all turn into like the ghost from the first Pokemon game. They don't look exactly like it. That's obviously what they're trying to do a callback to. So they like all turn like these little ghost things. Ooga ooga ooga! And they decide to do a little glomp pile on top of pile drive. Oop. Then we got this. What's that calling out? So we got like a little fairy creature and this person crawling around. Vaguely, it looks like a cockroach looker, like from Resident Evil. Then we got a little ghost in the hallway. Stands there, then decides to just do his little thing. With, yeah, the hair kind of looks like a hat when it moves, but I guess it's supposed to be the hair coming towards you. Alright, this one's pretty straightforward, so... Those are, yeah, there's stuff that looks like they were straight out of Stardew Valley to me, so... Whoop. Alright, next advertisement. This one's in Japanese. Lecture thing. Just ignore all the blood. I don't know what they're saying. Then we're in a different place, alright? Again, just a lady in front of a dead woman, because why not? I guess the monsters can talk. We got some little sobbing going on. Wait, is that different? Wait, wait, wait a second. Is that Dipper from Gravity Falls? Like a teenage shonen style tipper. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back. Sorry. Just amused. Alright, so this one we can't get the full context of because um, obviously we're just. This one's a Japanese centralized ad, looks like. At least, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Japanese. Yeah, that's definitely Japanese. I was gonna say, I don't wanna sound like. Be, be like, oh, haha, it's Japanese when it's like Korean or fucking Thai or something. But I've seen enough of each of the languages to get a feel for it, and I can definitely recognize some of the characters as Japanese characters. There's a few which I specifically like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's Japanese. Yeah, you know what? I do have a translator app. I, do I want to put in the effort to try and translate all the messages here to get what this advertisement is trying to say? It's probably very not worth the effort, but should I do that? Let's, let's fucking do it. I've got a translation app on my phone. I'm sure it'll help. Come on, translation app. Let's figure out what this is all saying. All right, so let's use the camera. Okay, so roughly my translator app. All right, choose a monster, then give the first... Uh, basically, the first one is telling him uh, to choose a monster, then he'll give the first mission. That's a very straightforward translation. Did the text change? No, that was just the sound of him getting the monster. Okay. Then the next bit roughly says, Buy cup ramen at a convenience store. It's coming. Or come on. I think it's supposed to, yeah. So basically he's telling him to go to the convenience store and buy a cup ramen. And then either he's saying it's coming or come on. One of those two. And then Dipper from Gravity Falls says... Give it a second. But doctor is what he's saying there, if you're curious. I guess we're gonna fucking take the time to try and translate these. Alright. Then the follow-up says, Do you let's go without saying anything. Let's go quickly without saying anything. So he's basically telling him, let's quickly go and be quiet. Wait, was there a little bit more text to that? There was, okay. And the second half of that says, I'm hungry. So basically, the doctor's saying, get me fucking ramen. He's also ignoring all the blood around him. 
And then we see this girl, uh, this conversation says, come over here, come on. <laughs> then there's a knife icon, which I only just noticed because I'm paying close attention now. Uh, hold this. She's saying hold this while I guess giving out the knife. Also, her sprite's holding out the knife, but kind of like in like a sort of cheesy way. <laughs> like it looks like it goes right through her head or something. <laughs> And then he's holding the knife, and the monster says something. He says, It's a mother, no master. Okay, yeah, it says no master, basically. Uh, but there's a little bit more. Oh, it's too late, the monster then says. Uh, she then says quite a bit. Let's see what she says in a little fit into this. Now the knife is yours. Fingerprints are perfect. Hide the corpse. Will you cooperate with me? All right. Easy peasy. And then Dipper from Gravity Falls says, What the hell? That's what he's basically saying. <laughs> she has a lot more to say with all that. Uh, she's saying, Naturally, I took a monster. Why? Okay. Naturally, I took a monster. Barbaric, man, and poor girl. Police, which story do you believe in? Okay. So this one's a little bit harder to translate, but the basis of what I'm getting from the very rough translation, and hey, hey, boys again, is that uh, she's saying there was a barbaric man and a monster, and which side that she's going to choose of who to kill. Basically, she's saying, do you want to stab me or do you want to stab the professor? Because I guess they both have something to do with whatever murder we're saying. <laughs> So it's really like a big choice, and then I guess we get a choice of who to stab. I have an assumption of what this says, but let's see what it actually says. Yeah, basically, um, we're getting a choice to help her or to seal her, I guess. And then that's where the advertisement ends, alright. That one was pretty self-explanatory, honestly. With the translation. Uh, let's see what the next advertisement has in store for us. This is the eighth advertisement of 256 for Evertale. And again, I do not condone, to go, I condone this game. And the slide. <laughs> now that you have selected your star monster, I'll sign you for. Oh, this is basically fucking. I took the time to translate it, and the next advertisement is literally the same advertisement, just zoomed in, and it, it literally says the fucking dialogue, but it's the same one just translated. Buy me some Mr. Ramen at the company. But Professor, what can I say? I'm hungry. Now go. Hurry up, help. I've lost control of my monster and it did that. Now it's in that room. Please defeat it with your monster, please. Take this. Wait, no, this is not the same advertisement. She didn't hand off the knife like she did in the last advertisement. Now she's telling him to go into the other room and fight a monster. Enter one away. Red eye spooky. Yep. Yep, that is basically what it is. Oh, it changes. Yeah, so I first thought this was the exact same advertisement as the first one, but it's actually slightly different. There's no knife thing, and I guess instead she tells him to go into the room, and then we get beady red eyes. No jump scare, actually, which I can appreciate. All right, apparently I'm going to be translating a few of these advertisements. Let's do it. I kept the translation app open because I kind of guessed, but another one immediately. The girl is dead? Yeah, the girl is dead. We're, in fact, looking at it right now. This is actually also the shot from the first uh, fucking advertisement, which flashed by quickly, so this is another reuse of these assets in this area. The light turns on. Walks inside. I guess this is supposed to be the Pokemon trainer's house. It's just dead people outside, and there's dead people inside previously. Is this the book? What the hell is this? Uh, did you do the... Okay, so basically, um, he's asking what the hell is this, and asking if the corpse outside is his doing, essentially. And then the professor in turn... Let's see... Basically saying the truth is sometimes too heavy for one person to carry. I'm also like 90% sure that this is not like... I have a feeling this Japanese is not really somebody natively 
writing Japanese. These are translating a little bit too cleanly, and my suspicion is that they probably just wrote something in English and then translated to fucking Google and then put the translations into this because I'm going to say is that these are being translated a little bit too cleanly, if that makes any sense. That I'm pretty suspicious that they probably were not natively written in Japanese with Japanese grammar. Uh, they were probably written in English and translated to Japanese, so translating them back is making them come, out, come back a little bit too clean, if that makes sense. Um, that's just my suspicion, though. <laughs> That's something different. Probably to raise intrigue is my prediction, since keep in mind these are advertisements for a game that doesn't actually exist. I mean, the game exists, but it's nothing like what we're seeing. If it would be wise to choose the ball, uh, basically uh, saying that uh, things may be revealed if he chooses one of the three not Pokeballs in front of him. Let me get the blood scene again. Let's see. Do you know that you are not a predator? Do you know that you are not a predator? Is basically what it's saying. That's an edit of that uh, thing that we saw in like one of the earlier advertisements. So it's in a different sprite style. Than the I got another thing of text. This one says roughly. There are no monsters. Yep, that one says there are no monsters. There's a it's the Amori ripoff room again. I'll try and get a clean look at the text. That's good. It's time to face each other. What is this, Amori? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. See this scene again. Yeah, this literally exact same scene. Now we see the reflection this time from the opposite direction. What did that Japanese say? Let's see if I can get a good pause on it when it's pretty legible. This roughly says, Is this water? Alright. Which then, ooh, spooky, scary red eyes in the reflection of the pool. <laughs> All right, this bit here says, give it a second, or is it empty? <laughs> and we got our Evertail flash. These last few haven't been very interesting, in my opinion. But we'll probably get to a variety of these. There's still quite a few to go. So now we've got advertisement 10. This one is in English. It's not actually a recreation of the last advertisement like we saw before. It's a different one, different setup. Did you guys kill them all? Why? We're supposed to be a team. <laughs> you were supposed to leave some for me to kill too, bros. This is probably where this ad's going. That's all the advertisement was. Alright, so we got this room. Gotta sort of take lights around. Oh, we got Japanese again. Oh boy. I was gonna have to like keep this on hand, I guess. Is there if there are any survivors, I have to find them. That's roughly what that bit is saying. Alright, makes sense. Yep. These are called PGB Slasher Forest. Oh, well, that's kind of fun, Nihi. Right, looking for survivors. Alright, then we have this bit. What kind of sound is that? Or we'll probably say more roughly. What's that sound? Or something like that. that hides in a hole. Why did the bat run into, like, a fucking mouse hole? Wait, don't leave me alone? Roughly. Then we got our blood footprints coming in. They do a little dance, and he decides to glitch out all in red. Pretty fun. 
Alright, what do we got next? Yeah, there's definitely being a rip-off sprite things going on there. Dying person. Why are they so huge compared to everything and everybody else? Like, what? Inside. Like, blurry. Alright, now this is what our attack says. I, I see what the second line says. It was different. This was an accident. Please help me. Something roughly up that alley. Though frankly, the fucking sprite art and the portrait art do not look anything alike. Probably from different sources. But I want to see the cheesy... Give me the dark eyed cheesiness. There it is. Ooh, and her eyes kind of beam in the darkness. That's kind of neat. We got two different things of text here. Help, call the police. Basically. Help her, call the police. Decides to help her. Alright, we got a little more text. So many of these I have to translate. I wasn't expecting that here. Thank you, you're kind. She's been killed. She has cursed me. That's why I went through her eyes, or something like that. Probably went through her eyes, being something slightly different. Another thing of text. This bit here says, It looks like I've gone somewhere. Would you please look for it together? It looks like it's gone somewhere. Can you find it in the beginning? One of those two. <laughs> Let's see. What are you choosing here, sir? Does that kind of look like a Danganronpa character? Look for her eyes, or look for the eyes, or run away. What are the choices? She has devoid sound. This has devoid sound effects? That's interesting. Again, there is 100% stolen assets being used here. But hey, that's why we don't actually endorse this, but we're going over it because it's vaguely kind of interesting. So many of these are Japanese. Is this game big in Japan? I have no idea. Give it a second. I have to cross the river. Can you... Oh, will you pay for the mosquitoes? Does that literally say that? Well, it definitely says mosquitoes, but I don't know why they're bringing them up. There's another vaguely Danganronpa-looking character. If you're of the Kaniki tribe, if you pay, I'll get older, or I'll leave the ship. If you pay, I'll okay. So if I pay, you leave the ship. Got it. And now I get another choice. Pay six coins. Find another way. That one's very straightforward. So I get a clear shot of the text. So I believe that's as clear as I'm maybe gonna get. The memoir is revived. Memories come back. One of those two. <laughs> Just hanging around, don't mind me. I chase like a black and white drawing, and then the hole comes in. It's, it's like the same hands from the woman inside the cabin. It's now consuming a person. Alright. Nom 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 nom. There's a few interesting shots in this one. Again, the aesthetics do not match at all. This looks nothing like this. And it looks nothing like this. That looks nothing like this. But hey, it's because they're taking assets from various different things. We already know that. Why do you waste so much time and money on this when they could have an actual game like this? I don't know, given that they probably couldn't sell legally what they're presenting to us right now, so, you know. Is like a weird camera effect? So, I guess this advertisement is somebody crossing a river of the dead is probably what's supposed to be. She's got the ghost tanker chief on. Then we got... I, is that supposed to be her? They don't really look like the same person, but maybe... There's like some sort of ritual pit sacrifice, just kind of here, goes to the ultra dimension with a pit bull, reaches out like, yo babe, take with me. And then we got just dead people hanging around, it's like something that comes to the right side, there's like somebody camera zooms out to this zone, like a 
farmhouse and the paper rain. And glitches. It looks this scene with the RPG Maker sprites again. Alright. And more Japanese. Apparently a lot more advertisements are made for Japan and America, at least early in. It's like an ancient sanctuary. There's a little bit more to it. I can hear the screams. Something like that, vaguely up that alley. All right, maybe these creepy pastas were working very well in Japan early in. I don't know. A deliberating soul dedicated to brutal faith. It's floating around. Show me the floating soul, sir. There's just a bunch of people behind them. We got some Japanese. After all the people decided saying, hey, what's up, my boy? It's time for purification. It's roughly what that says. All right, then we got another Japanese advertisement. Apparently, Evertail loved its creepypasta advertisements hanging at Japan. This is my gravestone, says the guy in front of the gravestone. What a surprise. I think it might be all this advertisement. Found. Not really. We have the campsite with the RPG Maker tile sets again. Alright, what does the, this all say? This says, do you want to investigate around? Yes or no? I swear the only thing I've seen for its market is Pokemon but with sexy ladies. I'm getting very confused vibes. Uh, the game is just trying to appeal to different audiences. Um, I've only seen the horror ads. That's probably because I watch a lot of horror videos. I've only seen a couple of these before this session we're doing right now. I so I was just going to sit down and watch all of them and let's talk about it. But anyway, so I was going to say is that they try... Basically, it's a game that's been out for a long time. Probably they saw dwindling sales numbers, so they put in a lot of advertisements that do not reflect the game at all. These advertisements do not reflect Evertale at all. The game is nothing like what we're seeing. It doesn't look like what we're seeing aesthetically. It doesn't play like what we're seeing. There's no horror elements in the actual game. They're just trying to tap into some audience that likes Pokemon creepypasta type things. Uh, so my suggestion, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to repeat this throughout the entire video. I'll probably say at least a couple more times. Um, probably do not check out this game. What we're seeing here is probably more interesting than anything that we would actually see in like practice. Um, on top of that, just, they're, they're fake fishing ads. They're trying to get people to check out the game. I'd be like, oh, is there a hidden, creepy underbelt? No, there isn't. There's not. It's just a gotcha game with monsters that you catch and waifu characters that try to make you pay money for. So, yeah. That's the game. These fake advertisements have been running for over a year now, actually. There's blood on the ladder. Do you want to climb it? Basically. Yes or no, probably. Climb or not climb. Goes up. There's blood right there. What does this bit say? I'm doing a lot more translating than what I'd be doing today. A strange shout sound can be heard through an invisible hole at the bottom. Do you want to go inside? Yeah, let's go inside the bloody hole making noise. I'm sure that's a good idea. Yes or no? Oh, <laughs> that clown? Woohoohoo! <laughs> Kids! Who's gonna come into my blood hole? <laughs> honk honk. <laughs> kind of. Alright, I don't know where these sprites are from. Uh, probably some RPG Maker thing, probably. Um, but I've seen them a few times now. We got some sort of train station. A blood report that's kind of blurry. The train comes and runs them over, which is stupid. What is he doing? <laughs> Kissing. Very violent kiss. They must have seen Train to Busan. They're like even overlaying. And now they have like dumb edits of their own sprites. <laughs> There's the actual game.
This one actually decided to show their hands, but this one's kind of cheesy. Though these are like obviously, yeah, it's like overlaying just right over the sprites. We got like the fake, ooh, bloody edits. Something, something. Sprite, this is what, if you're curious, this is what the actual game looks like. Like, this is gameplay of what actually plays. Like. This is more waifus because there's more monster characters, unless you're paying money, I guess. Anyways, there's that. Next advertisement. This is number eight. Uh, we're now on number 18 of 256 for the record. We got the meat. We got people replacing the meat. We got C Cthulhu. There's the same outward shot we saw from before, like literally the same shot. Which is out, yep. And here we got a pullout from the earlier zone we saw. Oh, this one's in Japanese too. Sure, we can translate the text. This says Did you kill them all? Uh saw the oh, were you a psychopath? This isn't it. <laughs> Something like that. Very bad translation. That's gonna Pokemon, I guess. By Pokemon, I mean the not Pokemon, obviously. Friends, don't make me laugh. This time we are monsters. We'll dominate the breeder. <laughs> That's. Wow. Wow. Okay, sir. Calm down. And then the cactus thing, like, vaguely reminds me of that boxing glove cactus from Digimon, says. That's right, you guys also have blood on your hands. And let me give me a second. Let the blood flow through you until you die. You better be prepared, which I guess is vaguely trying to say something like, ah, uh, you fight us monsters too, you have blood in your hands as well. Let it flow through you, and now it's time for you to die. <sighs> and then they throw Pokeballs at them. <laughs> Sky cheesy. And they both say. Give it a second. Hooray! Basically. They're saying hooray now they caught the people with their Pokeballs. Evertail. With some glitches. Same. Is this like the clown one again? This is the Bloody Ladder text. I'm gonna see this one like any different. Is it gonna be different than a clown? Climb the Bloody Ladder, investigate the hole. This is the text asking you to look down the hole. It's like more zoomed in than the other advertisement. Oh, now he gets caught up in... So it's like the same advertisement, but now that our hands didn't come out. Yeah. Now they're like trying to mix the advertisements together. Like this is a remix. Uh, this says, the Japanese says, tap to uh, like play, basically. They're, so this, since this is supposed to be a mobile advertisement, I assume they're telling tell them to click to install now or something. They really love the RPG Maker assets. Yes, they do. Ah, uh, yes, Death Threats from Dancing and Abbey Cactus. Exactly. <laughs> Spoop me. Yep. So this one is like a Japanese version. It looks like that one with the woman earlier that with the professor saying, uh, can't, you know, she needs to eat or something. Yeah, so yeah, so far the text looks like it's exactly the same as the earlier advertising, just it's now Japanese. Yeah, this is literally the text of the exact advertising was earlier really in English. The one where she reaches out her hands and eats the monster she can't be contained anymore. Uh, each of them, this is just a Japanese version of advertising we saw earlier. Is this going to be an English version of that bad advertisement? No. I'm going to see if this changes from the one with all the footprints. Like, the resolution's a little bit different. But this is like the same advertisement we saw earlier. This one was actually also in Japanese, but I noticed the resolution is like different, so it's probably for a different platform. I guess that counts as a different advertisement. Yeah, just, the advertisement we saw earlier, just different resolution. And now this one's new. We have a new one. We got a guy looking at his monster in a not Pokemon ripoff place. He decides to look at the lake, but turns into a mirror. I decide to look in the mirror. Let's see what the text says. Who is talking? Who are they talking to? Old man in the mirror. I'm sorry, small breeder. <laughs> what do they call them breeders? <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure this is running an RPG maker, whatever we're looking at right now. There's a few clues to it for me. Like put through a video processing, like this isn't probably what it legitimately looks like. It's probably 
running through RPG Maker, but then with like filters and video effects put over it. All right. This says, you had ambitions. I was just timid. Huh. Now we get to a hospital bed with the old man. Now, yeah, if you're in the hospital bed. Ooh, you're old all along. Ooh. Before you know it, you'll be the boomer. Ooh. Anyways. Well, it's because they can't call them trainers, so I guess they call them breeders, but it comes off weird. Wow, it's a mirror dimension. That is just to rip off that one Pokemon character, but that's okay. Alright, what does that say in Japanese? That says... Do you think it's a mirror? I see. Whoop. Alright. That bit says... Would you like to stay? Would, or would you like to go to... Mirror clashes. Then we see the monster like from the advertisement just peeking through. And now we got a variation that starts right from the top of that earlier ad we saw where they caught them with the Pokeballs. Is the text say anything different? No, no, no. This literally is the... Like, this is just a shorter version. It's the same text from earlier. Yep. And then they're going to throw the Pokeballs. And they're going to both say hooray. Hooray. Oh, no. This is different. Now we got trainers fighting each other. I guess they decided to expand on it. I don't want to fight you. What? Says the guy. And the girl says, that's true for me too. And dot 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 dot. And she just decapitates him, I guess. And then, <laughs> then they take the advertisement earlier and they put the girl there who won. The cactus here is saying, give it a second. Breeders, we are already monsters. You can't make one one the living. Now it's your turn to start over. So yeah, we're just sort of like remixing some of the advertisements now. This is the advertisement 25 out of uh, 256, 265, excuse me. They seem happy about that. This is the graveyard from earlier, goes inside of a hole, climbs the place. Hey, it's the skull monster from the earlier advertisement. Alright. What's going on with you? This text says, question mark, question mark, question mark, says, you found me because I wanted it. All right. I went here in the issues, but oh, bye for now, TL. Let's see. All right. This bit here, let's translate it. it says, free will is just an illusion. You just move as I guide you. All right. Simple, simple. This text here says, I'm Alpha. <laughs> so it says, I'm Alpha. Then I'm going to change to Alpha. I'm Omega. Yeah, okay, so it says, I'm Alpha, I'm Omega. And now, I guess, fucking hang yourself. That's what he's going to say. You should do it yourself. You already know what you have to do. You should know, is basically what it's saying. <laughs> I'm Alpha, I'm Omega! Is there anything else there before it tells me what you have to do? Just saying there's like anything. Nah, it's just like the transition to the scene. I guess there's like a well, which isn't here in this scene, but outside of that. Remember, Alpha and Omega you wants you to, I guess, hang. Mmm, now that we got a few different remixes. We got these people, then you got the knife, decapitation. <laughs> uh, we got very brief Japanese. Let's see what that says. Sometimes. You got the decapitated sprite from earlier, and just like the torn apart fried bear sprite from the first one. It's you two with us. I'm sitting here. What does that Japanese say? It's pointed towards them. Don't cross. It's telling him not to cross the line. He crosses it. 
And now that text is very, very disturbing. Fast. That says. Da, 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 da. Do you submit to me? All right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Are those literally just the Pokemon sprites for the ghost in Pokemon? That is literally just the ghost sprites from fucking Pokemon Red and Blue and Green, I guess. Don't tell Nintendo. But anyways. There we go. Game over. Then we got this. Alright, so this bit here roughly says... Do you know that you are not a breeder? I think I'm actually saying trainer here as opposed to breeder, but close enough. And we got this shot again. Did not mean to do that, sorry about that. There's a bit where it's a little bit more clean. There are no monsters, is roughly what that says. We got the Amori scene again, walks up, is, uh, there's the line, do not cross, it's time to go bloody, then error messages everywhere, and then an eye watching. Alright. And yep, yeah, that's gonna have fun. That's if they are aware of it. Though mobile games get away with a lot sometimes, so. Alright, we got red scenes. We got this bit that says, roughly, you can't go back. And the first shot showed, I guess, them in a red room. There's no blood this time, though. It's just the little red stuff going outside. You can't go back. Back's outside, out of the area. See the person there. This roughly says, the note comes back, or memories come back, something like that. I believe it's memories. Hey, it's him again. It's Alpha Omega. All right, then this says, the result of one's actions, and it seems that the time has come to face each other. Something like that. Then we got the bloody scene, we got this little stack out again. Oh, very different. This one I actually recognize the sprite tiles for. It's an RPG Maker thing. Hey, did you hear that sound just now? Roughly what they're saying. Alpha and Omega, please, no! Let's see what this says. I'll take a look. Go back to the ball. Which promises is that she's about to throw her Pokeball rip-off thing at them. Yep. Alright, we hear some slurping. The generator stopped. It has to be an electrical monster. I wish I could see it. Electricity, and that turns out to be like a sound. Chases, fast speeds, like a daily thing, gets caught. Wow, so many of these are Japanese, more than I was expecting. This says, Dad, do you believe in a mysterious phenomenon? Yes, Dad. Imagine you just approach your dad one day as he's looking at himself in the mirror with what looks like blood on his hands, probably, saying, Hey, Dad, do you believe in the mysterious phenomenon? And Dad's just like, Son? What does he actually say? There's no such thing. That, that was very, very quick. And then our little guy is all like, but it's true! Walks away. <laughs> Just kind of chilling in my room, I see the mysterious phenomenon. After all, your story is a lie. All After all, your story is a lie. Uh, the character is twice in a row. It can't come out. Something vaguely like that, I guess. Very different visual aesthetic again. Shadow turns to a nurse girl. We see some clicking of things. Again, this is nothing like how the game actually plays. Because we're seeing actual characters behind things. Ooh, it's 
the girl from the Reen Sadaka. <laughs> Alright, so next up, after that one was a very different aesthetic, and obviously trying to still also have waifu appeal. The doctor said that, but after all, it cannot be overlooked. No more monsters must be, but have to be sacrificed. So basically, vaguely, so this is actually a follow-up, weirdly, to the advertisement earlier about the fucking monsters being sacrificed to the woman within the shack. I guess they're trying to spin a little bit of a narrative here. This is definitely the woman from earlier, and this is the place from earlier, except now it's raining. And she's sort of responding to what the doctor said earlier about how she must be fed. And she's saying that the doctor did say that, but no, there shouldn't have to be any more monsters that have to be sacrificed. She's going here to try to make things better. Then we got a little skull face thing going on with a reaper ass looking thing. I've been waiting. Don't be afraid, because you are the same as me. And that's supposed to be like the fucking, I guess, female professor that was locked from the cabinet of monsters. And our gal's all like, uh, roughly, shut up, devil, such madness, I'll finish this, she says. Got a axe there. The monster says something like, oh, stupid breeder, it's me. If you kill the doctors, the purpose is, okay. This one's a little bit like, harder to actually translate. Basically, he's saying, Oh, stupid breeder, if you kill me, the doctor's purpose is forever gone. You don't know. Something like that. So basically saying, If you kill me, the doctor's purpose will be gone, and you don't know what will happen. We got a little more text. This bit goes vaguely, Come on, you'll catch a cold. Come on inside. You'll see the beginning of everything. Let's talk carefully. Something like that. And then given a choice, probably it'd be asked if you want to enter or not. Or it's being asked if you want to attack or if you want to listen to its story. So basically it's trying to tell you not either you attack it or you listen to its story. Decides to attack, and that's where the advertisement ends. Now we have a very different aesthetic. She's in the arcade. For the record, we're now in advertisement number 34 of 265. <laughs> it wasn't that guy. I guess there's some blood there, but I guess we'll see what happens there. You know, like a jump scare setting come out from the camera. Nope, that was it. We have another Japanese advertisement. Alright, and this says roughly There are no signs and there are no trees. Which obviously we're looking at sign and trees. So trying to be weird. Yep, that's how you can walk weird glitchy sprites over. I like this one, kind of. Then we got her, whatever that is, I guess. Uh, the text here roughly says, You found the legendary monster. And the follow-up text roughly says, Is a monster that's not registered in your picture book. Which obviously must be like your Pokédex equivalent. Um, I mean, it would be fair to say so far most of these advertisements are in Japanese. They're not, they have all been in Japanese. English and Japanese are the two we've seen. What will you do? You can either fight or run away. And then this roughly says, death is not a debate. Runs away, but obviously can't. It's all this like a play coffin it's supposed to be like pokemon go but then there's a ring girl Ooh. uh this says roughly but that's is that what that says evil human beings okay 
<laughs> so a reversal Pokemon ripoff gameplay. This is not what the game looks like for the record. Alright, we got the professor again. Alright, the professor says Only you can find my granddaughter. Run! I heard her voice somewhere around here. Some people are sick. She must be scared of with fear. So basically, his granddaughter's missing. So she can find her. Her voice came from around here, and yada yada. What? Basically, he's saying here, uh, my grand, uh, my granddaughter is of, or my either my granddaughter or my grandson is obsessed with evil. Look at it. There's a few things that cannot be understood. Um, she says something roughly like, Rest assured, Doctor, I will definitely find them. Blocks on through. Going to the shrine, I assume. Inside, we see a little room. Different aesthetic doesn't fit again. There's the ring girl again. Da, da, da. This isn't a farming game either. It's not the horror game scene either, but this game definitely is not a farming game. What? And then everybody was massacred. The end. Play now. <laughs> we have this one. This one's very different than the other ones we've seen so far. Did not mean to go back. Did not mean to go full screen. Let's do it. Yeah, the creepy eye, we got this face, different hands popping up. Let's see if Japanese is like really Blood, doodly, doodly. So we got the alley early girl running, and. Oops. It's supposed to be the ring girl, but you know. Alright. Visually one of the more interesting ones. We got the eye within the teeth going on there. Alright. Then we got a Ringu-esque girl but with an eye sort of gently scrawling away. Roughly... Yeah, okay, that's... E. Hands reaching out. I like that shot. I'm not sure the assets are stolen from someplace, but that looks kind of cool. Got all these hands reaching out, then we just look at the chest only for the eye jump scare. Got it. The gate is locked. We'll look through the keyhole. The first one that's in English in a while. An unknown monster is staring at you from the dark. Blessing, you feel like it's judging. You know? wait, wait, wait. Was that supposed to be self harm? Or was that something else? Yeah, it's supposed to be you stabbing yourself. It looks familiar somehow. Stop working, run, denials to feed you yet again. Denial has to feed you again. Keep pretending you are in control. Been looking at our favorite Pokemon. And is this an English version of the clown hole one? There are blood stains liar, yep, this is the cloud one from earlier. That's gonna translate transfer into something else, but it's probably the same setup. So yeah. Ah, it's the one with the hands coming out of the horror. So yeah. It is an advertisement we saw earlier, just English. Tap to investigate. And of course the game looks nothing like this. Though this you see spread some other things. This is gonna be an English version of the mirror one we saw earlier. Yeah, now they're like English versions of a few advertisements we were just watching. Does it look seem like a mirror to you? Let me see how good my translations work with the gray kit. Voila, the monster popping its head in through earlier. And now it's a little bit... This one's just combining a lot of scenes that we saw earlier just into like a different remix of itself from, yeah. I'm 
gonna go back one. This one's kind of like this one has scenes that we've seen from other ones already. That was I like how this is like the hand scene, but they now made the hands cartoony as opposed to like realistic hands. I'm not sure why either. We got the bloody scene, we got this, and, like some amalgamation and things. We got the wine scene that I liked from earlier. Then we got this thing, which is kind of slimy eyes, and I'll be like, hey, what's up? And this is an English version of the like, cactus one. This is the one that's going to also transition to the girl locked in, right? Lead to death. Lol. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't want to fight you, my love, neither do I, but... Uh, you breeders won't sacrifice us monsters anymore, instead we will sacrifice you. I uh, guess the scene is the woman dragon. The English version of the advertisement we saw earlier. This one's- oh, it's like a French version. This is the first French advertisement we've seen. It's obviously the advertisement that we saw earlier. It's now in French. And they all. So now they're trying to also appeal to a French demographic, it seems. But the same advertisement as French. Yeah, they can't catch her all. Why are you sacrificing monsters, Professor? The breeder who lives in that cat game. So, so, so this is like one of the earlier advertisements we saw, but what I've noticed is that they made the font bigger. So I'm assuming there might have been an issue reading the advertisements earlier, so now they've got bigger, more bold font. Yeah, it's like one of the first advertisements we saw. Oh, this is different. Oh, oh, this is scummy as hell! Oh, that is so scummy. So, okay. This is an advertisement. So let me explain why this one in particular is scummy. Now, this so far it's the same advertisement, but... They try to phrase this as like a mini game, so um, let's say this was playing for like a kid or something. Uh, if this was part of the game, they try to make you swipe because that goes to the installation page for the game, um, and that's what triggers it if you're on a mobile app. And so obviously you don't have to do anything here because fucking it's just an advertisement, but they're trying to make you them swipe to get to the installation to get to the app install page. It's just a little bit of scummy. <laughs> Otherwise, same advertise. It's the same advertisement from earlier. It's bold text and made a little scummier. Can I start training, monster kid? No. Okay, so this is like a different. Buy me some instant ramen to convene. But for, this is the fucking Dipper ripoff one again. Though it's like weirdly different resolution. Hurry up, Pebbles. Yeah, this is an animal. This is the English version of this one. The resolution's like different for some reason. But of course, we don't want me to accuse you. But what? Oh, you're cute, but a fool. Who do you think the cops will believe? A freak guy with, with a monster or a pearl girl like me? Help her close her mouth. Here's a new one. Can you change your destiny? Walk through a snowy place to snowy music. Look at the strange hole. Now you remember what popped up on him like a head crab. Uh, basically. The gay is locked. Is this the eye one we saw earlier? Yes, peek through, see the eye. It feels like it's judging you. I know the monster is staring at you from the dark. We got this scene. Someday you'll be sitting here with us. You know, this advertisement is from earlier. Double cross. Will you pay? And then the Pokemon rip, like literally just Pokemon sprites ripped. This is an English version of the Alpha Mega thing from earlier. If you found me, it was because I wanted to be found. Free will is an illusion I create to keep you moving forward. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega, and you already know what to do. Oh, you turn the text. That's kind of interesting. We got these faces. With creepy... This, this is just a straight up lie to what this game is. I'm trying to be like Japanese horror. It's like a slight alteration of the one we saw earlier. This one's new. And in Japanese, even though a few of these advertisements reoccur in different languages, let's see what this one has to say. 
doing something, okay, doing that kind of thing, do you think you can leave? <laughs> I gotta disappear into the mirror into this. I think they're about to get hit by a car because it's on the headlights. Destiny is always looking at you. Yes, my favorite game where I run down the monsters. I like how like superimposed on the scene. Oh, I well, there that went. Show me your favorite skull face. There it is. Bronze team again. Teeth within teeth within teeth within eyes. Ooga they got a lot of use out of these assets they made, I say. Here's a different one. This one is 100% trying to call back Lavender Town. This is, wow. I'm trying to really rip off Lavender Town. Somebody in front of the grave. Alright, it was the Japanese side. The Japanese roughly says, This is a pile of grass stones? Of gravestones. A pile of gravestones. And what does this bit say? Apparently, I'm having difficulty getting this app to work. It's probably because of the filters and the fact that it's like intergrained with the other textures here. Let me try one more time. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes or no? Basically. And then the ghosts, like literally just the ghosts from Pokemon. The thing which I am surprised that their uh, thing here, th this is literally the Pokemon sprite. Let's hope Nintendo doesn't find out. I hope they find out. Someday you two will join us sitting here. So I guess the sitting here comment's supposed to be like a reference that you're someday will be a ghost like them. We've seen that pop up a few times in these advertisements, so. Alright, what does this little flurry of text say before it gets too messy? That would probably be one of the better shots I'll get at it. This roughly says some. T <laughs> what is that? It says. Okay. Sometimes you like being seen by someone. I have that feeling. All right. For stars, huh? That's a different little shot of stuff. This text roughly says. Not only that... Go to a point where it's a little more clear, like, right then. I noticed that, since I paused and see enough of these, I noticed they, like, reuse the filters. All the eyes I'm looking at, it feels like they are the same as mine. Uh, this roughly says one soul. Okay. Uh, this roughly says with millions of eyes staring at you. Off oh, that scene, sound uh, free falling. Ooh. That one opened up with a long needle neck person. Okay. This is the shrine scene we saw earlier. Now with that scene, it was like remixing a few things with a few new elements. It's the long neck shot is new. 
there's an actual Japanese. So this roughly translates to gain an idea. Traditions, not true. I like it vaguely. What I also will say is that we're on currently advertisement number 57 of 265. I know there's a lot of these. One that grows out, sort of waves around, says hi. It's like a weird 3D model. I don't know, no, it's like a 2D drive. Or it's like a 3D. We got the hands thing. We got the eye cut out. There's a tall girl. Tall girl's just kind of lurking. Don't mind her. She likes it like this. I, it, impossible for me to translate the show version. Right? Not possible, harder. Just assume that she's tall and she likes it. Another tall girl advertisement, but this one's slowly unveiling the scene. Wow, ain't she tall? Somebody really like this tall girl picture they got. That's getting closer. I want to see the close up version. It's got like the eye thing going on. So I guess we confirm that one girl with one eye was in the time of advertisements. is just really tall. Also, speaking about deceiving eyes, the game that we're looking at doesn't even like vaguely resemble this. I mean, here's one with the flailing worm neck we saw earlier. We're talking about the game called Walk. Vaguely kind of looks like that. But... The thing is, this doesn't even vaguely resemble the game that's trying to advertise. Does, does this look like Evertale to you? No, it does not. Now we got a weird world map. This has a lot of rules and text. Let's see what we're looking at. Give it a second. The investigation is complete. It has been raining for three hours. The murder took place an hour ago. There are two suspects. Both were in the, de in the tent. From the footprints, it is known that the crime was committed by one person. That's what the says. Yeah, it's out of ten, there's two people. Probably just has to pick one. Who was the murderer? No, the game isn't a murder investigation. An hour ago, I had a campfire. Also, the sprite does not really resemble it. Uh, this dude says... I slept in a tent. You have something on. Uh, yeah, basically say you slept in the tent. Do you have anything on it? Uh, pick who you think the murderer is. And then saying, ready to investigate with the crime scenes. They just straight up lie about the game a lot. There's the RPG Maker Pop sprites again. Blind the door vaguely. It's jammed, basically. Crawl through the hole. Nah. Wanna go through the vent? Yes. Then we have the hanging scene with the hands that grab her. Play now. The weird thing is that since these are the RPG Maker pop sprites, it wouldn't actually be that hard to make Crawl through a little space, walk the darkness. Hey, watch the TV there. Uh, what this actually says is vaguely, can you see the monster? I guess that's the girl asking. Now the graveyard. And now we're back to Alpha Mega. All Alpha Mega has to say here is, I've been waiting. Uh, this bit vaguely says, don't be afraid. Or are you a the accurate angel? This bit says, because you are the same as me. I thought you were the Alpha and Omega. Now we got a straight up more Pokemon looking thing. Pokemon just jumps out of the bushes and joins me. Just like the real Pokemon, basically. And now we're at this professor scene. So I guess in this one we have the context that we like gave this monster to the professor. Doctor, 
why is the monster tied like that? And then this is gonna be the same explanation from earlier, it's gonna be different. The owner of that hut is a monster breeder. When I was so absorbed in Nara, she, or she turned herself to a monster, she's gone. Basically something like that. Obviously the same outcome we've seen before, with the hands coming out to grab them and go no 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 no. Uh, the text here says, To calm my anger, I'm pra I praise him, but her creation is never satisfied. She never gets out. Never leaves. So reach out the old grabby hands. No, 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 no. Let's put it. This is like, is this gonna be the Eagles version of the one we literally just saw? Do you see the monster? No, a different location. Oh, it's a very, I guess a tree? They like their hole jumping down. That's all that one was. Hey, it's an anime girl. Hey, it's a monster. It's the third love story. Just creepy sounds, I guess. Now they're gonna jump down the hole. We'll see what's down the hole now. Darkness. What a surprise. Faster. Satan circle. All right. What does this say? This roughly says, "La Royce, what have you done?" La Royce. And now, uh, probably the name of this creature or something. This says, "What the master wants, I've done it. Be strong." Do you see this? Are you? Will you please be happy with me? Are you pleased to see this? Yep. And then this dude's all... You did something like this for that? Why... Why humans? Like, why human blood, I guess. And he responds... You can grow dramatically when you're exposed. So basically, it can grow dramatically when exposed to human blood. I heard its voice. Thanks to that, I was able to evolve into the in this way. The voice was right. What does it look? What do I look like to you, Master? Something like that. And then our guys all like. This, you killed that guy with you, my hand. I held this guy with my hand, but forever together, even though I'm an adventurous companion. So I guess the guy that kills like some friend of his and makes some comment towards that. And then joins them. Now we're in Mushroom Zone. What does this bit say? Roughly. I'm back, Doctor. And doctors all like, oh, I've been waiting for you. Wow, the text goes by fast in this one. This roughly says, two days after Finn disappeared, what happened in that last mission? And then sets that blaze, sure. Uh, in this bit, all saying, I will definitely bring them back. Now I got that pitter patter faster thing to the demon circle. Oh, this is like the precursor to the advertisement we just saw, and he finds Finn, and I guess that killed them. Weird that we got a prequel to that one, but sure. Either they're lazy, probably, though. So there's something to do with the number of ads that might make them show up more. Maybe so. It's probably a mixture of things. There's definitely some reuse of things, but this one looks like another new one. Sometimes it's like remix. And the hole appears. It's a trap. Ah, uh, to the nether realm, I guess. I don't know what I'd say. 
Gotta go back in time, I guess. This says, where is here? Is that like a jellyfish? Okay, this bit roughly says, am I rising? And this bit roughly says, or am I falling? Am I rising? Or oh, there's the, it wasn't that, it was a slime. By the way, we're now on advertisement number 71 of 265. Digging out the head. Oh, it was like the car, <laughs> the car thing earlier. And now the dead zone. They start getting like trash to this dead zone that I made. Is it still saying, am I rising or am I falling? Where is here? Yeah, it's the same text. It's like, okay, am I rising or am I falling? Am I rising or am I falling? Yeah, slime death again. Slime's probably like hmm. We would have thought. There's that tower we've seen a few times. Now you enter it. Uh, what are all those things there around? Uh, it's like a different version of that one monster we saw earlier, but no longer the human head has got like a tentacle thing in the head. This is like one eyed people. Alright. This roughly says. Could be the time reincarnate as a slime. I know why you came here, is what that says. And this bit here says, How many breeders have come? Do you think you are, you're a challenge to me? And this one says, Know that there is a war, that there, okay. Know that there is not a world that you can defeat me in. And then this says roughly, all right, let's go. <laughs> Very basic response to that. Walking through the pink zone. That's where your character goes. Wow, the two meet at last for murder. And back to the scene. text gonna be like near identical to what it was before or something different. I know why you came here. That's all it says. Or ambiguous. Now we got chained up anime girl. Oh uh, what tool you want to use to try and save her? Choose the knife. Got ten seconds. Hey look, the cactus and the weird mouse thing are here to do it too. Laugh. <laughs> Hold in the palm of your hand, is Ringy Girl gonna show up? A big old blood voice again. Is <laughs> that Attack on Titan? On that day, he remembered. <laughs> <laughs> the man, he lived in fear. Alright. Uh, this one says... Oh, I failed, even though if I appear in the five biter star again. Uh, it basically saying something about the star that they failed the signal or something. And this bit saying... Anyways, you're dead. Basically, you're in hell. You failed the sentence. Uh, probably the time I died on the train. Hey, why on the train? What happened on the underlay? So basically asking, why did you, why did you, why did you kill yourself here? And then saying, this will translate. Wait, that isn't you. So I guess it's not really us. A little more text here, got this little mushroom set up. 
You guys, for, carniv for carnivorous mushrooms, it is a fool who died after being eaten. And then saying, well, what? <laughs> Basically, confusion. Your life is about to begin. When it comes to when it comes to, I will tell you. It was that one. Okay, what's this little bit saying back in this laboratory? Master, wake up. And then he gets up and he's saying something vaguely like. Where is this? Is that a corpse? What, what, what's up with this body? And then they're saying... You don't remember anything, right? And then there's a banging on the window, I guess, saying... Sense or oh, the police open up. Basically, the police open up. For the police. And now one of the bodies got up, and they got three choices. The choices are: open the door, drive away, and the last one says escape through the front door. And that says. Who? And then evil ass is all going like, my face. It's my face too, don't you know? <laughs> ooga ooga woo. Alright, because this advertisement has some different bits. There's some similar bits. So let's see if I can get the bits that are unique to it. There are no monsters. We've read that text a few times. I really like the there are no monsters bit. Oh, nope. I was going to say this advertising looks a little bit low quality, but it's probably a mobile advertisement. It's just naturally low quality. It's time to face each other. How many times have we seen the text, there are no monsters, it's time to face each other? Probably multiple times in this. Walks out through the Amori room, walks to here. Is this water or is that reflection? Then we got the campfire. We got a few. No, there's a few new things that popped up. We got all these eyes. We got a harem. Is that what's going on? That one's fine. We got the Omega. We got the Shrine. We got the Shadow from the TV. What was that back very briefly there? Ah, it's just like the silhouette of a monster. We're now in advertisement 79. Oh, uh, who knows how many. This is like the one where they go into the hole and like head crash or something or something. Yeah. Look through the tower, see the eye. It's a Japanese version of an English advertisement we saw earlier. There's the knife thing. Knife, error messages all day. Fighting error messages. Anime. That's the spirit. Round number eight. Zombies. This is really the opportunity for pop sprays. Yeah. Fall down here. Back to zombies. I'm assuming you want to jump down. Yep. Let me see the dead body scene from earlier. And there it is. Another new shot. We are a little crispy mouse inside of the press. Now there's a lot of them. Okay, I'll read the fucking text in this one. I'm not really expecting it to be too. Some of the text is like usually repeats of each other. But there are occasions where the text is either new or different or something. So let's see. Uh, we are currently at number 81 of 265. This one says, 
Lost child, come to me. Let me see this bit. Jumps on the wall, sees themselves. All right, that's all it says. And of course, we must tax us. This roughly says nothing can be attained without security. And this says, is that so? And then, game, I guess. Now there's anime girls doing their thing. We got the chain up scene. This game be cool. Play anime! Whoa! Opens the door. Some sort of dubstep thing to go with it. And then it gets closer, it's an anime girl. Wow, anime is coming for me through the halls. Now it's red lights coming through the halls. <laughs> Near girl, I'm sure. I got red eyes. Yeah. This is the ramen thing, pick a ball. Pick, get me ramen. The Amore scene, flash. I really like this word scene. Don't cross the line. This is the flip line version. It's done the end the error message. This is the one with that where it goes back to reflection. Oh, it's like the Pikachu thing. There's an eye. This one's a bit different. Alright, what's the text saying? This text right here is saying there must be a way to escape. Simple enough. This old man is roughly saying, get used to it quickly, it's easy. Just know that you don't understand everything. Walks away. This bit's roughly saying, nothing hurts anymore. They're saying roughly, it's boring forever. Easy. And then this text is saying, roughly, give it a second, face the truth. Got it. Car accident popping up again. We got a few different scenes for you. Same glory scene. Watch that one's new. Watch it through a lot. We're just watching a bunch of creepy pasta ads for a game that's truly never tell exists, but stuff like this. Which anime girl will win the roulette? It's her! Wow! Power up, turn into a sprite, gets to the campfire scene, and raise the hands. Okay, that was the Japanese text. Hey, welcome back, him, by the way. I'll explain what this is after this one. This says, give it a second. There are blood stains on the ladder where you go up. I should have guessed that because we've seen that text a few times. All right, and this bit says, from the altar, I hear a strange voice. Would you like to get closer? Probably yes or no question, yes, no. Now the hands have reached out, and it's that sprite. Then you see the hanging version of the hands grabbing yet. And this one looks like a new one with the, uh, with the elevator set up. What? Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay, so scavenge, I'll explain. Give me a second to drink some juice. <sighs> okay. So? And yeah, so basically... For anyone coming in late, I know if you've been watching this in VOD form, this is a little bit repetitive, but I'll try to explain it quickly. There is a mobile gacha waifu game which tries to rip off Pokemon known as Evertail. And the game had a pretty big audience in the mid-2010s, 
And then their audience was dying out, so they tried a few different advertising campaigns to try to get their audience back up. Other uh, advertisements are lies and using either stolen assets or just assets that have nothing to do with the game. Uh, these are a series of creepy pasta ads that started running last year and they're still going. They release several of these a month. And it's the game in question is not reflective of these advertisements at all. The game does not look anything like these advertisements, except for the few cases they actually do use stuff from the games. Um, the game is not a horror game in the slightest. There's not even like a hidden horror element. It's just a gotcha type game. You, you know, and you do RPG battles with Pokemon and waifu characters. It's not really Pokemon, but trying to be Pokemon. Uh, these advertisements are using various assets from various places. There's RPG Maker tile sets that I recognize. Uh, there's edits of Pokemon sprites. Sometimes they don't even edit the sprites. They just literally steal the sprites. Uh, there's assets and sounds from other sources that they definitely don't own the rights to. So I'm not trying to condone or like try and advertise this game at all. But they've made a lot of these sort of quote-unquote creepypasta ads to try and sell the game. And I just thought, hey, you know what, I'm kind of curious. Let's go over all 265 of these creepy pasta ads that they made for this. So we're just kind of going all over it. And, you know, there's some interesting things here and there. But then there's also a lot of silly stuff. There's also a lot of repetition because they reuse a lot of elements sometimes. But then there's occasionally the very original one, by which I mean that we haven't seen it yet. Like, this elevator's new. And yeah, yeah. Uh, do you imagine the alternate reality where we live with uh, Undertale making marketing doing things like this? Oh boy. Uh, when you watch enough of these, you realize that there's no cohesion. Uh, there's some advertisements which are a little bit closer to what the game is actually like, but then there's many which are like completely false advertising. Yep. Well, not even just that, just looking. There, there's like a little bit of a narrative to try and spin these advertisements. When you see enough of these, you start to realize like where their mindset is with these, but yeah, yeah. Yep, it's an anime girl. Who would have guessed? I guess it's gonna be something creepy. No, there's gonna be one more anime girl than it be creepy. Hello, anime girl. Then voila, now it's kind of creepy. Yep, it's the eye that we saw from earlier. Some blood splatters and ooh, spooky. All right. There's the monster from earlier. This Japanese roughly translates to... More sacrifices are needed, basically. And I guess panic music as it comes up. Or is that their Pokemon to battle, but probably it's going to sacrifice. And then the same advertisement, but differently colored. More sacrifices are needed. Well, I guess the same advertisement, just blue version. Yeah, just literally the same advertisement, blue version. This the car of Tessin and Starlers. Can we look at the English version of this advertisement? No, it's still Japanese. Where is here? Is how I already know what the text says. And then it says, Am I rising or am I falling? Shaking, chasing the slime. This is a little bit different because the slime's eating things. I'm going back to the I was earlier. Yep, car time again. This one's new. Going through like a spooky school type setting. Splatters on the glass, I guess. Giant eye. And now we see this scene earlier with all the one eyed cold peoples and then this entity being all like, I know why you're here. But no text this time. And this is a cutaway to them going down the hole. Seeing these dead things. There's like a few scenes we've seen before in this one. This is the one where he asks him to choose a ball and then get some ramen. Oh, no, there's a cutaway to then this one. Throw your Pokemon and have it be sacrificed. We all know this is real. Some of these advertisements are like remixes of the other scenes that we've already seen. There's a few like this. Oh, here's something new. The Pokemon gets back out. 
elephant runs them and he's like, oh wow, I thought I died. Where am I as I skip and frolic? And we see literally the Pokemon. Like, I don't know how they fucking legally could get away with this. It's really just a slight edit of the Pokemon fucking ghost sprite from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green. Text, blood scenes, game over, all that stuff. But this is the blue version, and this is gonna transition to the advertisement. This is like when the advertisement. They, they started doing something new, which I hadn't seen until just very recently, which is like advertisements we saw earlier, but like blue version. But like, and also remix somewhat. Yeah, maybe so. This is the fucking one that we saw earlier. Really gonna say Evan and the hand grab it and see that pop up. Blue version. So I found an anime girl palette talking. It's like this is weirdly both an edit of one that we saw earlier. And this is the blood talk we saw talking about being like, did I do what you wanted to, Master? But now with like more animated personas and a doppelganger probably. This is the one we had to see the figure and then we go like, wow. Did I do that? Or is this cool advertisement we saw from earlier? Wow, eyes. There's the slime monster from earlier. Here's a blue version of the doctor advertisement. I was talking about that one person missing. And it's like, alright, I'll go find them. Then wanders out to a world map, and then they decide to jump away to this advertising zone. Then they throw the fucking Pokeball, and then it comes out, and it's the last sacrifice, and flashes out. Here's the mushroom world we saw once before. Only the second time that one popped up. Now we got Anime Girls. But, oh, it's really Anime Nets. More of these. Some of these is kind of funky, I'm not sure if they made it. Probably not. That is a foot. There was the advertisement. Red eyes. Hi people, it's hanging out around tears. You go back to the Amori scene somewhere he glitches out to an error message. Oh, now it's just her vomiting. I guess that's an error message too. I seen blood vomiting. Here's the one with Frame the Girl, except now there's this creature talking in anime girl sounds. What does this say? Master, don't be enticed. It's a devil. Help me, not her. And then they say... But it doesn't look like a devil. It looks a bit like my lover, Yora. <gasps> and then they're all like, that story again? And then you get a choice, which is to help or to ignore. I can't read that. Uh, roughly, this says something like, "Oh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe that was a devil. Maybe it wasn't, but <laughs> she didn't look like your girlfriend." <laughs> That's kind of stupid, funny. Roughly, something like that. Our dude over here, all covered with blood, without the dipper hat from earlier, is just like you. Bleh. There that goes. Alright, then we got some power advertising. Oh, this is the doctor scene from earlier. It's probably the same dialogue from earlier. Let's see. Take the monster. Embark on your journey to save Finn. Yeah, it's the same thing. He's like, I'll be right back. Blah, 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 blah. We've seen this one before. Walks off. Alright, and then, yeah, then it cuts away to this scene. He throws the Pokemon, and then quote-unquote Pokemon. And it's gonna go above his head. What is this? Like the fucking sixth time you've seen this exact scene? They really like that scene. Now we can't wait to this scene. This is also like the sixth time we've seen this scene. 
here is this it's a fucking scene that we've seen earlier but now it's on a TV the tech the top of the finger it, the top of the fucking text there is trying to tell you basically to swipe with your finger essentially I like how they just take the advertisement and put it on a TV and put on classical music with rain sound effects. Wow, play Evertel now. By the way, we're now at advertisement 104 out of 256. We saw this falling scene once before, but only once before. Alright, so uh, this bit roughly says, Know that there is a world that you don't understand. Something like that. Alright, followed up with something roughly like, You don't know who you are. All right. Um, this bit roughly says you are the beginning and the end of everything. That might be saying I'm the beginning and the end of everything. Followed up by it's time to face each other. How many times have they said it's time to face each other? I really like that idea, don't they? All right, we got anime girl entering to something that's totally not uh, fucking. What's the one where you go inside the house and get eaten by a witch that's trying to like feed you too much? We are saved. There it is. Also, Gojo. Must go in the name of him. I just be misreading that. I think we have voice acting for some of these. But I'm not really sure. Hmm. Jam. Basically saying this tastes bad. Let's go to your house instead. So. This doesn't taste good. Let's go someplace else. Obviously, we see this buys out back, but they oh, look, it's the fucking Grim Reaper back from the dead to talk about it. Um, don't worry if your face is dirty. Come on. Uh, she was cooking, okay? Your face might get a little bit dirty with jam. Basically, say, don't care if your face is dirty. Just maybe it's gonna get dirty with jam, I guess. Oh my, that path is scavenged. This bit here says, please come in anyway. Basically, a person inside the house is telling them to come inside. Uh, she's like, mm, this looks delicious. And it's talking about, oh, we're a little bit messy and all that we shouldn't come inside. It doesn't taste that good anyways. And the figure's like, oh, don't worry about being messy. Come on inside anyways. <laughs> Game of choice here. Uh, essentially, if we're going inside or if we're going to walk away. There they go. Now we got a zombie from the pop RPG maker asset file stuff as they walk right through. Yep. Is that a skeleton fishing? Well, no, like seriously, it's like a skeleton at Pimp Outfit Fishing. They're asking, isn't it beautiful? Uh, followed up by roughly... How does the world come to an end? They Watch out, they just strolling. Don't mind, just us boys in the graveyard. Me and a pal. Giant frog. Is frog gonna talk? They always talk. All the giant creatures talk in this universe. Okay, roughly. Something about enjoying that they come out of this one. Um, maybe this bit might be a bit easier for me to read. How many breeders so far do you think? Of oh, wait, this is a repeat of the dialogue we read earlier. Basically, how many breeders do you think have come to challenge me at this point? Followed up by, and if this probably like the text earlier. I know this is a world that you do not understand. And then it's like I teleport them out like the first one. Not just to glitch out. Now we got waifu girl. Wow, what a surprise. For the record, this is high quality. This comes with probably mobile app. Then we get to the spooky element. Woo, it's a scientific experiment. 
Now it's hell. Now it's something. There. Unleash the beast. This is the one where they go inside down the hole. Is it gonna be darkest? Let's see the body inside at the very bottom. Walk a few steps. I don't know. They're going the opposite direction. Now this is the one where they see like a weird TV thing. This is like a dimly lit dark version. There are bloodstains in the lair. Do you want to climb up to it? Obviously, this one's just in English now. But now it's like a dark purple version, an English version we saw earlier. Now listen closely because you hear voices. There's the shrine monster. This is like a. Th this one's a little bit of a weird one because this is an advertisement we've seen before. But they like put a purple filter and put on like light overlays. And now it's an English one with some Japanese before. I probably could. Do people... Here's the question. Do people want to see me take my swing at making something inspired by this? I probably... It could probably be... It's like, these are all short in math. You're at the beginning and the end of everything. An anomaly in the fabric of reality. The point in the universe where all things converge. You still don't know who you are. You still don't know who I am. But you will be judged for every monster you capture. Who are you, Sam's Undertale? <laughs> this, this is like a widescreen version of the fucking, like, footprint one that we saw earlier. He, we need to see if there's anyone still alive. Yeah, like, earlier we saw, like, the left side, but now there's a new right side, and it's made in, like, widescreen. I wonder if they're gonna handle the footprints. It's also now in it's not English when it was in Japanese earlier. Did you hear that? Where did the footprints come from? Don't leave me alone. I still understand why a bat escapes through a fucking rat hole. Oh, well, footprints are going to appear through the room. Oh. It's just like a forced widescreen version of that one. One day you'll understand. Until then, we're on the way. Collect them all. Why are we sacrificing monsters, Professor? The breeder who lives in the cabin became so obsessed with green monsters that she became a real monster herself. It's like, yeah, now we're getting, like, wide... This is some of the advertisements we saw earlier, except now they're on widescreen format. Like, there's more stuff you can see. They don't really need to see. They don't really add anything. It's just to make them widescreen. And then on top of that, uh, some of them are advertisements that were not English before. Some Like, this one was English before, but some of these were only Japanese. I guess they just made widescreen versions of the ads and translated them to English. Uh, figure or calamity, but it's in vain. Blood splatter. Whoop. As you hunt the monster, oh, here's a new bird part of it. As you hunt monsters, you become a monster yourself. Now you must face the consequences of your actions. You guys killed them all? Why? We're supposed to be a team. Take it away. It's time for us monsters to hunt down some breeders. Yes, we're gonna make you battle in the arena until you bleed to death. Gotcha. And then. If you're looking for the rare monsters of the chill, I can give you all of them. For that, you'll have to trust me. There that goes. Now a monster popped up there. Here's a new one. We got darkness and aura emitting from this guy. Like hell. Like, this guy looks like the guy that's on top of the roof from the earlier advertisements. It's just like a pretty sweet looking thing. It's like a different sprite style. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess it's Japanese. Uh, before the text changes, let me go what this says. Roughly, this says, little child, don't be afraid. Come at me like a fucking angel, I say. Uh, this bit of text roughly says something like, that you prayed for me, I thank you. Probably more like, that you prayed for me, I thank you. But yeah. Now I got Blood Ocean. Going through the ocean again, crossing on the way, my way. Okay, 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 what does this Japanese say? Roughly, this says something like, Be wary of dedicating all of you to me. Roughly, something like that. 
We are now on advertisement 118 of 256. Just kind of crossing through the yard. Go inside the tent. Is this like an alteration of the fucking frog one we just saw earlier? I'm afraid I'll get lost. Maybe something like that. Don't be afraid. Let's do whatever you want to do for me. I need you to trust me. Do you believe me? I guess one's in all Japanese. It's possible to make something inspired by this without fucking using the assets that they've obviously stolen or like edited or something they're using here. I'm sorry, another phrase you can't rely on. I didn't have a hand? I must not be reading this crap, this doesn't make much sense to me. Hmm. That chat has already helped. Give me a second. No, effortlessly with your hands, please do it. Basically help you with the hand thing. Roughly saying, leave it to me, father. Hell, the devil that, uh, that was bad for her, I will return it to. Something like that. <laughs> Where's the priest? Don't you want to meet me? And this bit says, devil, your name is what? And it says... The devil is countless. Uh, the devil is nesting countless in this body. Uh, this bit says, "I'll eat you alive." Let's do it. The human soul is supreme because it's a feast. Then we have three choices, which is attack, run away, or to call uh, like a circle, basically to make a festival circle. They chose to run away, I believe. It's like an edit that another kind of like the doppelganger? No, the doppelganger isn't following them. There's no longer a devil circle. It's like this is a weird edit of what we saw earlier. Weirdly enough, this made me realize that several masters were all going down. What was that that we saw through there? Is that Venom from Spider Man? Still that? Crisscrossing through the beach. Ah, my friendinos. <laughs> what do they have to say with this? This is what the master wants. It was, I just did it. What the master wants, I do it. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Slow that version up on something for a few times. See the voice. Um, this roughly says, "He prayed for me. Thank you." It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> this is the advertisement that we saw earlier with the hands thing, going for the priest, just now with like the vomit of the lane, now with a purple filter for some reason. Let's go inside. Now it's this girl. Does she say something different? Or does she say the whole thing of the devil that we read earlier? Where's the priest? Yeah, it's the same text we saw earlier. Makes sense. Devil, what's your name? Immeasurable in my body, sign my souls. So forth and so on. Make the choice, make the second choice to run away. Not walking through an area with a little flashlight. Probably to turn a lever or not, but just to make double sure. Do you want to raise the lever? Yes or no? Who would have suspected that's what that said? Ah. On the right side is super slow. If you stop crawling super slow, you probably could get away. And now, like, a different version of the same scene? Ah, for a close-up. What is your text saying here? There are two more switches. Find it and start it. So 
So basically, try and do like a slam thing. You hit a switch, find two more. A hiding spot. Obviously, the game does not play like this even remotely. Uh, this bit here is saying something like. I want to crawl through the hole, probably. There are two more switches. Find it and start it, yes or no. That's kind of weird, but sure. There's a floating thing. There's one of these wifey circles. I like got sketchy wifeys, I guess. like in a weird small screen format. Play it on Google Play. Wow, get free whatever. I'm not gonna do all this shit. What a deal. stabbed myself. And it's the whole, where am I? Where is he? Am I rising or am I falling? Also, we are now officially halfway done with these. We're now on advertisement 128 of 265. Um, there's not an exact middle, but basically we're essentially halfway done with all of these. I know, great milestone, right? Continuing though. This is different. Okay, well, what is... Well, no, this is going to be some dumb waifu text. What the fuck are you saying? Fuck it, I don't know. I don't really care too much either. So I'm going to be like, oh, coming from the mist, mister. Turns out I'm a demon! <laughs> Big surprise. This is very close to one that we saw earlier. It's where they pass the trees. There's no trees. There's no signs. You need the empty down below. It's going to be the weird octopus looking one. Yep, there it is. It's so now it's no longer the girl. It's the octopus head one. It was originally like more girl like, but they made more octopus like over the course. It's always had octopus features. Now, yeah. She went headless. What does that little bit of text say? Anything new or different, or is it the same thing we've read multiple times already? Let's find out. This roughly says, You are the beginning of everything, but also the end. See, that's a repeat of dialogue we've already read before. This is a new stone that is the school scene. And this is the one where you have venom popping in through the door. Yep. And it's the one where they go down, the head is down there. Yep, there it is. Hey dude, now he went past this. This is like the commercial we just saw, except it's focused on the dude and not the girl character. But a few scenes that we've seen before. Resident Evil type 2 character campaign, male and female character, each with differences in their campaign. This is basically the zombie avenue, like a little cutaway from the beginning. Now we got the footprints. Here's a new one. Checking your map, X marks the spot. Alright, so what does this dialogue say? This is a new scene. It's a creepy place, Billard. Uh, come closer. So basically he's creeped out and he's asking his Pokemon last thing to come closer to him. Alright. 
bits and this bit says roughly something like, are you the dark wizard of the example? Something like that. And the follow-up is, wow, I was caught by a messenger. I'll be killed if I keep doing this. Huh. I have choices. To untie the rope or to kill it. <laughs> blah blah blah. I tried to help as a big surprise. Wow, you can have slime and life living within your hands. This only eats all the time. I know that I was that when you saw it earlier. <laughs> this is really interesting. I want a battle guy to consume. That's one hungry ass slime. Okay, well, that's simply saying it's fragile. There is nothing I can wait for. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Without possessing. <laughs> Here is the one that we just saw about sticking closer. It's probably just a variation of what we just saw. It's a little monster over there. Saying, oh, are you the thing that I was worried about with the example? Will you please untie me? I was caught. And then you get the option to untie it or not. Just to untie it. And wow, wipe it. Oh, now they, oh, they mixed this course we saw earlier about freeing that makes sense I guess but it is another remix it is real stuff it's the school spread stuff I want something drastically new we've been seeing a lot of repeats of things that we've seen before but hey we're saying through all 256 of these we're at her this is 136 Probably about to transition to 137. Yep, 137. Ah, bloody sins. Pick your character. There's missing now, I guess. Walk a walk to the lake as before. Which lake scene are we seeing? None of them. That works out. Professor, we've seen this Pokeball scene for a few times. Don't be a woman. Oh, we haven't seen this one for a while. They threw a different Pokemon out to find it. And it killed them. Wow. And it did see the pieces. That was technically an alteration on one that we've seen multiple times, so. Ah, it's one of these where they play the funky music and then the anime girls and then the creepy one to surprise you. Wow. Oh, that's really a curse. What a surprise. It's going to be that is uh, crawling, which is actually a curse. There, Sadako. I was wondering what you were. Wait, was that, like, one? I, I've seen that particular, that particular picture of Sadako. Not a car accident, seeing your dead body. Is that, <laughs> is that that one character from Mob Psycho? <laughs> Going any closer, telling the assumption, I'm sure. I'm getting a little bit tired of translating all Japanese text, such as lot is like similar to each other. If I'm like really curious, I'll translate it. I'm sure it's something different than the other stuff we've seen. But it could also be the whole, oh, face me. Is this trying just trying to copy those fucking advertisements of the fucking pull-out things? Ah, I've actually dripped the girl in the acid. Oh, how could you have done this differently? Investigate. Where did that sound come from? Get back into your ball. It's like the male version of an advertisement we saw earlier to the female character. I think this electrical monster turn off the power, then to left is gonna be a zombie. Yeah, it's literally one of the avatars we saw earlier, but it's with a like, male avatar as opposed to the female one. This one's new. Let's see. Crossing through the cherry blossom. It's 
got a new saw and a different aesthetic and everything. A little more detail. Ah, just to add to the end there. It's like a follow up to that, even the music's been pitched up a bit. That's kind of funny. You guys hit empty last second like last time? There are a lot of dead bodies in here. Okay, what does that text say? I'm, I'm invested enough because it's been a lack of text for a while. Let's see what this says. The death of one's understanding is the world without luck. Do you know that there is a world that cannot be understood? Basically. Well, that's one way to kill Pokemon. Bloodstains and all. Thank you for today, too. Thank you. All my homework is if you get a lot more of my seniors, I was able to. Basically, helping with homework. Happy to be there helping with homework. I don't care. I like to sag my pants, man. <laughs> Was this bit? Well, similar to the last one. Sort of glitchy things. Trying to go for the glitchy waifu type of thing. Dare kill maybe? Like that is a sandwich with eggs on top. Circus. Will you join the circus? You vaguely Harley Quinn looking gal? There's the baseball bat that's right that common I will admit. And a bit of a clown aesthetic. Some might really like the movie it. Here's the alteration of the one where it says to go find Finn again. They just want to be everything. Yep. Because again, this is not a real game. This is just things they've put together. Is that that emotional chart thing? I know there's still some assets, but I reckon it's got specific chart. For like the different personality uh, feel type thing. Is the one with the doppelganger phone? No, it's the one where they go into the door and then talk to the little bubble. Again, we've seen enough of these, but there's definitely some repeats happening. I was curious. I figured if there was like 256 of these, there had to be repeated scenes. The answer is 100% yes. There is 100% repeated scenes. But I guess that's okay. Here's a new one. Going through a garden. Little hedge maze. And I gotta catch them all. In the hedge maze. Ah, that crater ripped to hell. Yeah, pretty much. And there's the octopus on the TV again. We have the car drive by scene again. Here's the one where they're asking to find Finn again. He says, don't worry, Professor Doctor, I'll find them. And so... I got jump cuts between various ones we've seen before, of course. When you've made so many of these, you can start just like remixing all of them together. Vomit hand thing, somebody walking out. Mm, what if I to eat? Uh, probably something vaguely talking. There's shadow monsters over her, rubbing her shoulders in the little picture we see. I like the umbrella hats. And there we go, it's going off her stuff. I'm losing her head. 
Let's just watch a bunch of people get to spend more in the school I've also been using a few times. And now the Venom scene that we've seen a few times. It's Venom in the doors, it zooms in, let's show it. Strongly. You know what? I have no idea, Scavenge. I'm watching them on free will. We are now on advertisement 156 of 265. So we're almost at the final 100, but not quite there. We are over halfway done, though. It's almost two thirds of the way done. In fact, I think we might already be two thirds of the way done already. I'd have to do the exact math, I'm pretty sure we're vaguely. No, no, we're not two-thirds quite yet, not even the math in my head. Um, but we will get there very, very shortly. Wow, the power turned out. Bloody footprints approaching. Taking them out to dinner. Anthony has got something to say. I go down the hole, because of course you are. Here's a new shot. Go inside the right there. A few shots that look familiar and a few new ones. This one's familiar, but it's the goop monster. Another person coming down the hole. Your monster. I choose the priest. Okay, I'm actually curious what this priest says. What does the priest say? I hope it's new dialogue, unless I'm familiar with. You are a slave. He doesn't know that fact yet. And then he responds, What? And he responds, Wants to know the truth? In Evertail! Gun, Selena. Skidding all the Pokemon. This is the guy that gets like the elephant gets free then stabs him. And he wakes up and he sort of like dances to the right, like he's a little frog. Like, really didn't even get stabbed. We've only seen this scene in this game. There's all of like a pimp skeleton, it's a fishing thing. It says, Isn't that beautiful? But except we didn't get here in box. Ah, now we're hollow. <laughs> seeing various scenes we've seen before, we've seen a lot of overlay. Here's the horror pop, or would you make your tiles sounds? statue bit? Nah, no, nah, no, we got two girls with a portal here. I don't really care what they say, but I'm gonna check. What have we got? Give it a sec. Decide now. Which do you choose, light or dark? This is the go inside. And what is dark girl trying to convince us to? Of course it's me. Uh, something like this. We choose darkness, I guess. Okay, see. Oh, this is like an HD version that really blurry 360p ad we saw earlier. Yeah, it's exactly that. Obviously, this seems we've seen anything but this exact order of things. This was literally an ad we saw earlier, except now it's like an HD Here's something new. Okay, I recognize unfortunately the sprites exactly. It's an RPG Maker sold thing. Where am I? I wonder if anyone is here. That arrives at a camp that roughly says, I can hear something. It looks like someone is in the tent. That's inside. Excuse me, someone? Would you like me to come in? 
That's a clown. Hi. <laughs> That's hard. Let's see. Come on, come inside. Let's become. Oh, you have a choice to come inside or not. Evertail. I like how the clown finally came back after that one pull scare from forever ago. <laughs> Tied up in a place somewhere. Alright, what's, what's this vaguely saying? Probably text, little child, don't be afraid. Someday the time will come when you will understand. Okay, whatever that said, this bit says, come with me, I can make you happy. It's whatever association people have. I don't particularly find fun scaring myself, so I guess so. An alteration of that one escape app, and they got rid of the mobile overlay, and the carriage went in a different direction. Ah, we're not Grand Theft Zombies. Great driving. Here's your character. Now curses. This ain't how it does their best. We're less than a hundred away, by the way. Um, I'll say it once we get to the next one. There's all these flashes and some of the times. We are currently on advertising 169 of 265 or so. <laughs> I'm sure this prisoner guy has got a lot of interesting things to say. Now we're playing some sort of arcade prisoner game that doesn't actually exist. What a great thing to do right out of jail. Guess what? You're going right back in. You literally step up five steps out of jail. I didn't fucking did that. Ah, yes, the battle I've always been waiting for. This woman versus pirates and clowns? <laughs> Thank you, clown. Wow, what a surprise. Ivertail. Oh, cool. Why am I not playing the description? <laughs> dark things, hood figures, got like a character inside there. Join the darkness. There's the eye again. We haven't seen the eye in a while. Looks a little bit nicer than I looked before, even. Don't worry, I saw the devil. Alright, I'm curious. What was this bit exactly say? Not just roughly. Or what is still roughly being now? I had a strange dream, and because of it, I feel sick. A uh, girl responds. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I not pause? I actually uh, muted when I didn't mean to. The girl roughly. Uh, yeah, the girl roughly says. I need a cough, though. Did I come out? In the dream, she means. <laughs> Sorry, I had a cough. He says, oh, no, but I'm afraid if I explain the dream, it'll become reality, and that's scary. So she wants to know the dream, but he's afraid if he shares the dream, it might become real or something. Ah. Her text is so fast. Okay. She roughly says, what are you talking about? You can tell me. Ah. Okay, he says, okay. It was a dream with you and me, and we were in an office just like this. Suddenly the copier spits out paper. It just started spitting out of nowhere, basically. And the follow-up. For some reason on the paper, you... Uh, for some reason on that paper, it told you... It told my secret, and it was something I didn't want you to see. Oh. 
<laughs> and she says, What then? And he hears the sounds like, No, no! I can't remember from that. I just think it is. And let her text say for it stops. Uh, she says, Look, the copy machine is. They're dead. Because of course they're dead. Uh, we're trying to seduce this fine gentleman. Tarot cards is one of them. Oh, the glitch infects is Harley. I like the overlay. It's kind of fun. Choose your poison, that's your idea. At least we add open like again, like earlier. It's alright, it's a nice time. Um, I heard some walking. The French are jumps here. I'm sure there's a story this one, but it looks like he's kind of jumped. He's like, wow, watch this, I do a flip from this third story. Ooh, down the elevator of the wind. I have no idea. Frankly. There we go. Fax machines are the monsters of their own. Play with that. Now that. Weirdly trying to look 3D, but just makes it look more 2D. Look to see what this eye is saying. Is there anything new or text we've read before? Roughly, it says there's something creepy that's staring you from inside the, from the dark. Through the holes, a little bit. Yeah. The key card from under that. We've actually seen this one before. We'll just open the door and hear messages. Like their their effect to try to make it look more three D makes it look even more two D. It's really weird. A more room again. This is the line to not cross your cross that glitches the air messages. Yeah. It's the avatar again. She's feeling a little bit cursed, it turns out. So more she gets grabbed by the tentacle? No, she's talking to like one of the figures and stuff. <laughs> It's just a clown. They're just clowning around. Evertown. It's got clowns, don't you see? Probably. I can't believe the Evertell protagonist that's using the default art because you make your tile set aside to take the time to talk to one of the developers. A clown. Yeah, hear your attention to this. There's one of the hands. Walking through things. It's a squid. Let's do a squid battle. I guess I'm also playing Beyblade. The ghost wasn't happy with that. I guess when he peeked through the hole and turned this into an eye, yep. there's something staring back at you. There is that. It's just like a mix of a lot of them. This one's technically new. It's doing that weird effect that trying to make it look more 3D, but make it look more 3D looks more 2D. Walk through the cave entrance, it leads into a white space, which has that TV set up that we saw earlier. Some secret, you want it ramen and everything's a okay. There's the eye again. Ah, I see, you're trying to inspire. This is very Japanese. Not a great sound, Andrew. Maybe I'll say it's the end and the beginning. Even if you aren't sounding like that. 
said the same thing a few times now. Here's that other weird trying to make it look more 3D effect. The one in the 2D things we saw earlier, the zombie walks through. You hide in the hole, the zombie walks past. the line. We're not advertising 185 of 265. So we got about 80 more of these to go. This is like the nice looking stack one so they put like a, another filter on top of it. It's like one figure they see at the very end. And now with more Evertail, we have like a thousand more. Their world is flipped upside down. They got wire squirted. Well, I uh, did this decide I was gonna sit down and watch all 265 of these, and I'm making fully one. This is the first time in a while we've seen the little possessed one when they grabbed them. This is like the fourth time we've seen Mushroom World. Another one where they're trying to do like a weird 3D effect, but the 3D effect makes it look even more. I like the hand grabbing this thing. I have no Like the hands of the thing. Now I'm gonna get water squirted. No, it's like one down. I find it so sad. Wow, good thing they're playing the Mori. Just woke up in the white space. Thousand DL or something. Now it's like a Game Boy filter of the advertising we just saw. Then it's sometimes funny to see the same advertising over and over again. They just like put them in like a slightly different order, put filters over them. And all that. How many times am I going to now see them with the wake up dead and start the battle dead effect? Well, we are watching that right now. Here's a new one. Wow, that's a bloody scene. Was it all because of that little world monk thing? I'm actually going to translate this one, I've decided. Alright, well, probably nothing interesting. Let's see. It starts off saying something like. Ilu, what did you do? Paul, oh, but what the master wants. Oh, this is text we've seen before. This is literally the devil circle text, except being applied. This is the whole thing, what the master wants. I prepared the blah, 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 blah. And yeah, literally it's the exact same text from the fucking devil circle. I was thinking it might be new text. I think my spinal cord is trying to scare from these ads. What's up with that? I'm hunky dory. It's like a filter on top of the meat locker thing. So now we have an eyeball here that wants to say something. But I've been burned too many times by the text being the exact same. I decided to take a look. Now the hand grabs you to drag you in. Yep. Here's the one where they drive the car and spin in such a way that they drive into the fire hydrant. They died the same way, so the hand came in. Don't crash the threshold, it might make you crash. Wow. That <laughs> I get by car after your car accident. kind of silly. Here's another new looking scene. Um, that leads to the eyeball. I was tricked by the filters, you see. The filters worked as they intended, and you think it was something new. Now 
we got the hooded figure and all these things flashing by again. It's like a best of hits track. Playing all of our favorite hits from these Evertail horror ads. I like the new song playing on this one. Probably it's from somewhere else. I really like that tan sprite. It went for two, two things this time. It was hungry. A hungry girl. Okay, are you going to say the same text as seen other entities like you say, or is this something new? It's actually something new. It would have been a long way so far. It says, But the truth is not here. It's nowhere. By the will of monsters, you will be caught and you will be renewed. You'll be judged, actually. Flashes, lots of scenes I've seen before. I've seen these remakes advertisements a few times now. Here's the one with the eyes all inside. Oh, that was just a blood spill. You see enough of these, you definitely see some really Is this the one where they get into a Pokemon battle? No, they're supposed to do an idol. Lama guy, racing, lockout, don't cross the line, and error messages. Don't think it's going out that time. Here's another new one. There's the anime girl. They're bloody. There's the octopus monster. Now oh, you're really small going to bed, and then you die. Alright, so this is the 200th of these. We're getting, we're only 65 away from the end after this one. Run over by a train. That girl does not approve. Two demons just chatting it up. You know what? I want to know what those demon girls were saying. Is anything new? Hopefully the filter will not get hampered too much. He has a warm corpse. He couldn't have gone far yet. The corpse is still warm. They couldn't have gone far yet. So they found the corpse. They're thinking whoever killed them couldn't have gone far. Uh, because, uh, like, you know, it's like a fresh body, I guess. They fall off with, Be careful, something's coming. I backslide press, but I didn't mean to press. Uh, they're saying, Oh, God. I'll kill you this time. And they're all saying, Foo, 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 foo. If you want to kill me, the demon that sleeps in you will have to wake up, right? I won't hold myself back anymore. For some to this. And this is saying roughly, There are no monsters. Here's where familiar text. Let me see this scene. That was advertisement. Hey, we haven't seen this one in a while. It's kind of causing the turn the ball, lightning strikes. This is a filter on one of the first advertisements, actually. We just we watch the TV and then it like spins its head after the TV. Now it's a purple filter. I like anime. <laughs> I think we're seeing a few old advertisements, it's like a nonsense. Ah, good, we found a glitching point. I will give something to these advertisements credit, which I can say now I've seen enough of these. Uh, the aesthetic clashing is not as bad as it once was. There's still a little bit of aesthetic clashing in some of these, but... They look a little more cohesive. It's not a hundred percent there, but it's less noticeably aesthetic clashing than it was earlier. This is the Devil Circle one. I will say the last several dozen have been sort of just repeats of what we've seen before. Just in different orders. 
I would like to see a very fresh new one, because it's been a while since so a very fresh new one. A lot of these are like the same, several dozen scenes they have, just played in different orders. With like repeating dialogue, and used that. And that's that one. Blood everywhere with a portal over that way. Running surf, yes. Yeah, swim towards it. And train the hole. Yes. And then the meat hanging scene. Ever tell it's yeah. And now do you want to investigate? Swipe your finger now if you want to. Here's the, Persuade the Persuade 3D works best on this tower more than any other asset. Oh, it's this uh, one that we've seen before with like the fire flame inside. It says the lines the other two things inside. Wow, wow. That's one angry flame. Play Evertail now. Download for a thousand whatever bucks. Up. Why are we getting so close and personal for this one? Go inside the house. Inside the house, they found a hole. This is like the 50th hole we've seen since I jumped down today. Is that muscular guy holding a sword? Choose your Pokemon. I will choose you, waifu. I hate that guy. Ah, the, the balloon finally came back. It only popped up once. Oh, here's a new one. I actually like the aesthetic of this one. Eyeballs following through the river, and now this seems Now we got the bed. Ooga boo woo. I'm gonna kill you. Is the hanging this one, yep. We've seen this, but now it's a different pair of traps. <laughs> this is about the devil circle thing. Wow. What a shock. Oh, hey, this is new. Those season weird pop up on sprites on sprites together. Followed by several familiar scenes. They claim this is more rip off one, which transitions to the lake. Absolutely in the first one. That was new, the shadow grabbing hand. But I was in this place, which we're now going to see. Now we're seeing this thing with a weird blue filter over it. Now it's one of the earliest ones. Now with a blue filter, the professor says that she's far too gone. Uh, but he tries to use this to uh, calm her, but it doesn't work. She's always hungry for more, so we need more sacrifices. And the hands come out and grab her, and then blood splats. That's how you know it's Bicycle red. Like a 3D5 version only we saw earlier. With light. Is this the ramen sucked in one? You're gonna like choose, right, choose the cactus then in English. Blue filter to this scene we've seen before. Oh, and he turns an eyeball. That was a twist on. Yeah, this is a new one. And that's him going to the lake for the side, and all with a weird blue gray filter. Honestly, see this scene is someone who does a Pokemon and they get sacrificed over it. Flat we're almost done though. We're actually very, very... Uh, we're about 50 away from being through all of them. Is this your doing? Hey, Zan, I just want a Pokemon. It's a glitch. Come out, weird rat thing. I'm gonna ride you, I guess. Is that something I do in this game? Probably not. Maybe battle system, death, there's the octopus thing. 
Don't worry, just triply riding past all these weird pixelated dead bodies. Why do they suck to the frame? Is this like, this is just the fucking shadow hands, but like from a different house and perspective. It's really the same dialogue. In the music, you have the hands come out, rap, or... Well, I guess it's different. I choose this. Turns into an eyeball. Because of course I am, as you go through the winter wonderland. So your Pokeball, now right to the winter Neverland. That led to a beach for some reason. That led to this little area, so now you're riding it. When you just ride it, or are you throwing it out again for it to get sacrificed? That's a weird transition. They really like this new throwing and riding animations. They weren't there before, but now they're in all of them. There's the world map we haven't seen in a while. I'm gonna swim off someplace to a beach. Yep. Hospital jump scare? That makes sense. I choose the cactus or the glitch. I choose the glitch. It sure has a weird effect on the world that makes me feel funny. Blood everywhere, who would have thunk? Red face in the water. Hello, wife the girls, the biscuit head one, not the bottom of the school eye jump scare. That one hasn't showed itself up in a while, it's the one where we like, this is okay. oh no, this is more bloody than usual. Zooms in and then Now a different face, I mean it seems like different bloody. This one with the decapitated head, hello there, ma'am. Now, for a thousand or whatever, download this fucking ass game. There's like the weird personality Pokemon with a different thing. The different traits and stats don't cross the line. This is one of those advertisements we saw earlier that we didn't see, it's just now playing the widescreen format. And in slightly different order. Thankfully, where it's not an endless loop, I am a little bit tired of these, but I said I'd watch them all through and we're almost done. This one's another new scene which I haven't seen. Actually, no, yeah, there was a scene we've seen before, but not a bite scene. We'll sped up a little bit. It's weird because these are scenes we've seen before, but they're like sped up a little bit and have the character on the bicycle instead. Is that Minecraft? Yep, got a ride. Just don't want to get into a Pokemon battle immediately and then die. Yep. Amori is a good game. We're on 224 of 256. We're almost there. Ah, Octopus killed. Then we also die. Literally, we will not stop dying. That is the thing. This is the one where they're all standing there, like, in peace and calm and all that. And then he goes into the place and he sees his doppelganger and then it says, Will you face the truth? Everybody here is like, oh, this is so calm. I feel nothing. This is kind of, this place is so boring. Will we ever escape? Uh, doppelganger. Whoa, bicycle ride. Hey, this scene hasn't popped up since the first one. It's actually impressive. That they don't really see that one like through the universe. That's the same thing, but it's the female character. It's actually a new female. Oh, she has to choose a place to go with. Weird old man's like, pick one. She picked the glitch. 
how we switch characters in the narrative to some of these commercials. Go up, and now we get into a Pokemon battle, and flying consumes. Death, for some reason, has been locked us. Well, these waifu ones. Uh, we're actually almost done um, with this madness in hell. With all those girls. Then comes in the demonic girl. She's gonna go all weirdo in a second. Yep, in a scientific way. And then we're gonna see hell for a second. And then it's gonna go with her inside and flash with an alarm going on. Microbes in the air. Wow, is this coronavirus? Wow, even she can't avoid the corona. Can't believe Corona got it. And her little dog, too. Yeah, going through. Topical. This is the one where she gets the glitch thing. Ah, we got a new menu screen. That is fun. Ah, different Pokemon were in the background. They're really mixing things up now. Pick a thing, anything really. Actually, I'm gonna pause. They missed one of their char, and this one's actually radically different. Bicycle. Uh, pick one of your things. I'm actually gonna read what she says here because this is like a different thing than what we've seen. Uh, she says. Give it a sec. Her name is Rizit, and she's saying, What's happening? Chased or something, uh, chasing. As she says, Doctor, what is this corpse? Uh, doctor, this corpse is. And the doctor just says, I've been waiting. That's all for that one. There was a little new thing in that, so that's good at least. We're almost, almost done. There's only a little over 30 of these more to go. Which is probably good, because we're at the point where I've seen most of the scenes, and I might be occasionally a new one, although the coronavirus returns. I'm curious what she says here. What, what is she saying here? Is the same dialogue we saw earlier? What's happening? Hands grab them. She ran away this time. She was smart and rode away. But then came back and yeah, grabbed the second time. Of course she did. Sped up music. Literally cannot escape coronavirus. I kind of saw the more recent ones that started integrating the virus aspect. So, hey, look, we got glitch. I cannot believe that Evertail created coronavirus. In, in many ways, I shouldn't be that surprised though. Oh, a helicopter, that's new. Gotta fly. And she rides off, and he walks off, and. Oh, merry good old day. Hello, Professor. Yep. Glitching itself out. Here's a new setup. Yeah, it's just a helicopter. Down the head. I'll give it to this one. This is different. Which is different. Fished out the creature from Amori. Wow, it's something. Yep. 
Meanwhile, in helicopter view, I parachute away. You're gonna die gruesomely, I can feel it. Here I come. No, you're fine. Same as the helicopter, except you get parachuted down for some reason. Up to the helicopter. You just like crash? He chose Glitch Mod. No, I just need to A Pokemon. We choose Glitchmon. Fly to the sunset, cowboy. That coronavirus is now underway, probably. We have 25 more of these, then we're done. Hey, we went all the way back to this one. We've done that a few times now, but we were doing it again. It's the one where it's like we keep her in the shed. Let her grab the thing. It's like a weird overlay and reverse the music thing over it, which I understand. But they also decided to insert coronavirus. This is new. They didn't keep the door closed, I guess. Wow, at least that was new. Not even just the casual and explained corpses, they don't like react very. It's like they weirdly select when they react to the corpses. It's like, in the fucking advertisement. Oh, they got into helicopter. Accident. There's, I guess that explains what happened to helicopter from my earlier question. But it's like sometimes they just walk by corpses nonchalantly that are strewn all over the place, and then they get to the professor's house. They're like, what's this corpse doing here? Like, what, what do you mean, what's this corpse doing here? You went through a fucking trail of corpses to get here. That's new as well. Similar outcome, but technically. Who on the team got really obsessed with this helicopter setup they had? I guess they animated it so they knew they had to milk it for all it's worth just with different filters. And, like, alterations with other scenes to mix them up. Again. I gotta say, I tell creators, I don't think this is your finest one. If I saw this one out of context, I would not be this Helicopter. I'll fly out. Ghost in the Sky Returns. This is the one where you get into a Pokemon battle and you have the eye appears and you die immediately. Or you glitch out that too. There's a new scene. Friends just together. Good thing we all came for the fucking, I don't know, marker from Dead Space. Oh, she's into that. I I'm curious what she's saying, because this is like a slight remix, but at the same time, something new. This is safe. <laughs> Actually, that makes me laugh. So, just imagine this now. You see the scene that we see right here, and then just one of them covered in blood just says, This is safe! This is safe! <laughs> That's done. There's that slime monster we haven't seen. Always oh, sing this. The kitchen sings. There's another new scene. 
If they talk, I translate, but now they just let them center. For the record, we got about 15 more of these to go through. Then the helicopter lands. So, legit question. Legit question. Not just like these advertisements, because I think I can make some more interesting than this, but... I know there's been people that have said, oh, if only the game was fucking, like, how it actually looks like these advertisements. Watching them back to back didn't give me the full effect. I think some of these advertisements are more interesting than others. Uh, but if there was an effort to make something vaguely like it, it would probably just be a short thing you guys be up for. Is she hitting that monster room and snack on the fucking thing? That time you just sacrificed it via helicopter. I guess that's why it makes it up. Safe and social monkey with us. Wow. Finally, a little more into the glitch core aesthetic. Speed up these cultures you're adding. Will there be a market for something like this? Not like just like this. This is just a sped up version of that one that we saw earlier. Where the exact same thing sped up. Ah, we got the hanging one again. This time hanging them in front of the tent. I guess we get with the helicopter. But it's like a little weird mixture of things that have some look of sense, but don't really. There was a point in time they entered their helicopter and just got really obsessed with those helicopters. You probably make like an art list of how these develop. When they entered their coronavirus art, and when they entered their helicopter art, and when they had that little arc where they kept on playing that scene of the ritual sacrifice of the octopus monster, there was the arc where they kept on going back to the tower over and over again, there was the bit where we kept on seeing the store over and over again. Uh, there was some point where the characters just completely changed. So I haven't seen that Dipper look alike. It's really solid. Oh, the thing is, the game this is advertising isn't actually a horror game at all. It's a fucking waifu gacha game, which um, fucking plays a bit like Pokemon where you catch monsters and stuff. There's, there's no horror in the game, it's just these advertisements are aimed in that direction for some reason. The game itself, it, 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 there's not even like a secret world, it's just there is no horror in the game at all. Outside of the game's existence, I guess you could make that existential argument, but... Probably. There are other advertisements that aren't trying to be horror themed. This one's good, by the way. Oh, but it led to like the mushroom scene that actually playable with the TV setup. We're almost done, by the way. We we're like about roughly six or seven more of these to go. This is that same scene that we've seen before, but now it's the girl going through it. Just change the sprite on it. We got a glitch out effect through at the end. That was slightly fun, I guess. We would, finally, after so long, another wife who advertised it. Well, this is a new scene. Holy hell. There's 
that door sitting again. Now they've gone attached to this door scene in Sadako. I forgot what the Sadako are. It's been a while since we've seen her, so. <laughs> Take a gamble. That new portrait was the same devil ritual circle we've seen before. By the way, this is the third to last one. We're almost done. There's only two more. To date, that is. Here's the second last one. Hey, it's new! Well, that scene we've seen before is just like, That was new, actually. This is the Amori scene, except the sprite work has changed a little bit. And we'll to a different scene. And this is the last one. Like, literally right at the end, we have a few new ones. This is the last one that exists so far. This is like Super Metroid. And then it leads to this dungeon scene that we haven't seen in a while. The Amori scenes probably appeared more than any of the others, I'll be honest with you. And this led to this waifu, at least from a rogue scene that we haven't seen in a while. It was earlier, so it's kind of like laughing. Alright, that actually makes it that we've now finished every single one of these that have come out to date. Now this is, video is going to be outdated very, very quickly because there's more of these that come out every month. As I said earlier, about four or six of these come out per month. Just, just these advertisements. There's other advertisement campaigns they do. This is definitely their most active campaign. I'm going to make a guess that this advertising campaign has been a bit successful. Uh, probably because people kind of vaguely want a dumb, creepy pasta Pokemon style game. And just seeing like one of these briefly, when just in place of a regular advertisement, I think it catches the attention. Obviously, you're not supposed to be seeing like binge watching these advertisements. When you binge watch them, you see the same scenes over and over and over again. But uh, you know, they're kind of interesting if you just vaguely are like get some advertisements, one of them plays at random and you haven't seen it too much. There's some intrigue there, and I can definitely see that. Still, though, whoa, we did it. We obtained PTSD. Thank you, me. But, anyways. I think there's a problem in the sense that the false advertising... Like, why don't they just fucking make the game that they so clearly want to make if they fucking have, like, almost 300 of these advertisements... But it's whatever it's not thinking that they're selling. Uh, there is probably an interest for dumb, creepy pasta games that vaguely make people think of Pokemon. One of the bigger creepy pasta markets is definitely Pokemon. Pokemon definitely has its nostalgic creepy pasta base. Uh, there's a few games that appeal to that, I guess, but not really. There's like a few, but not too many actually. There's not like there are creepy pasta games. Don't get me wrong, but they're. Supply, surprisingly rare and even more surprising any ones that are anywhere halfway decent. So yeah, it is what it is. It's part of the appeal and why these advertisements go in the first place. I assume there's some audience that clicks these because they keep on making these. these. They make far more of these than they make their other advertisements these days. Uh, this channel which I'm watching, I, I would give them a name, but this channel literally doesn't have a name. Like, it... it, it they do the thing where their name, their username is just nothing because it's just a space character and just like a blank character. And then their username, if you go to their channel page, is just a stream of like random letters and numbers. Um, but they just archive all the fucking Evertail ads. And they have them in different categories, including these horror ones that are playing. And these horror ones, by far for the last year or so, have been mostly what they've been churning out. There's other advertisements they make too, but they make like five times as many of these horror ones as the other ones, so it's definitely not the game that they're advertising at all. There is a very loose idea of a narrative you can get from these advertisements, uh, not helped by the fact they have repeating lines and dialogue everywhere. Like, we see the hands multiple times associated with, I guess, the woman. There's the idea of, like, oh, you thought you were capturing monsters, but you're becoming the monster yourself. Uh, there's some ideas, some of the monsters wanting revenge for all that you use them for. 
Uh, there's some reoccurring characters. There's definitely the Demon Circle we've seen several times, the repeated dialogue, the Alpha Omega entity or others that replace it, which is associated that we are the beginning and end of time where some special being that gets tied for our monster breeding capturing where the character named the Breeder, which is definitely um, a choice, but all the same, all the same, all these reoccurring motifs you see over and over again, reoccurring locations. I will say that the aesthetic clashes, I'm saying that during not the best example, because this is definitely an aesthetic clash we're seeing right now on the screen. Uh, but they got a little bit better as opposed to the beginning. They got a little bit more cohesion. Not entirely, because they're still using ripped assets. So I think they figured out a little bit more uh, which assets looked okay together. Okay enough, and which ones did not. It's definitely not a perfect thing. Just some of the early advertisements, they like stretched out the sprites. They were blurry and all that. It didn't really work. I think they realized that, at least. And there's definitely some style contrast. But all the same, all the same. I've got a lot of thoughts. Vaguely, there's something oddly inspiring about this, but also something that's vaguely like, wow, that's just gross and weird, and why are you even fucking doing this? Why are you spending so much... I, I don't even want to say time and money, though. And again, running these advertisements cost money. But they want to attract people to their game, and that makes sense. A little gotcha waifu game. All the same, all the same. Anybody have anything want to say or talk about with these before I'm like, yep, I'm good. I got my fill, and I'm now fully aware of what all 265 of these Evertales ads are. Um, I could probably make a best of playlist <laughs> to say, hey, these are the advertisements with interesting bits that are not on fucking repeat over and over again, like the best iterations of these, but I'm not going to do that right now for very obvious reasons. Is what it is, what it is. The breeder name is absolutely cursed. But it's part of the fun. It's how they get away with, you know, not calling them trainers, I guess. All the same, all the same. I feel like I don't have a lot more to say on this. I, w I was kind of hoping there would be a little more diversity in some of the advertisements. Like the back, the last third of advertisements outside of a new scene, a few new scenes that we sprinkled occasionally like the same things we were seeing with only just a few occasional new scenes sprinkled in uh we saw a lot of the same scenes over and over again well we're probably gonna end it off here i pretty much agree with most of what you said yeah yeah because i'm right no it's okay it's it makes enough sense there hopefully you guys have enjoyed and until next time i shall be able to do to all of you i might take my hand to see what sort of crazy thing Watching all these inspired, I feel like it'd be something of a fever dream. I'm late to this. Can you explain? Um, uh, refresh the video when we finish, because this video is going to stay up and be live. We are literally just finishing. Uh, we watched all 265 Evertale horror advertisements. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I give an explanation at the very beginning of the video if you want to hear what this is about and, I guess, see all 265 of these. All the same, all the same. Until next time, I shall bid adieu to all of you. Have a good day, everyone.